Yeah, and it's my mom. Hang on a minute, this will be fun. Mom, I'm gaming right now! Yes, yes you are. Mom, I'm gaming right now! With, with my friends, Mom! Hey, don't do that, Hey, I'm here too. Mom, I'm gaming with my friends. What do you want? And I'm streaming, Mom! Mom! <laughs> I love you, Mom. My God, I didn't just do that, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I think I think Marv would have been very proud of me in that moment. I have the holocron. Um, see here. You didn't make it, Grace. Here. don't know what happened there Wikipedia for me but I have a Wikipedia um and I hate it I yeah oh my oh wait wait is that is that an empty tell me that's an empty suit okay it's an empty suit okay oh but I don't like the music that's playing I do not care for the music that is playing right now and there's a lot of ammo around here there's a lot of ammo around here I could have swore that was somebody hanging there I could have swore that was somebody hanging there which and should be the upcoming update that's... What the hell is that? That is Barry! Barry! Barry. Barry. So you gotta say hey to Barry. So is, this, is this the haunted house in the Halloween season? And they just and they just, just and they just keep all their just just uh, just, their, uh, just, just keep just keep keep going along. You're prop. doing fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> oh, fuck, ah! what, was that? what was that? What was that? What was that? What is that? What the hell is that? What was that? I don't know. What does that mean? What, what was me? that? Okay. Yeah. You know what, Katie? <laughs> you you know you know I will get you for this. Yeah. I, yeah. I just, I, I will oh, get you bullshit! For this. You're the one, dude. You're the one that took me to TWA at night. I don't want to fucking. <laughs> oh well. I missed this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anything on your anything on your EMF? Do you, you want, want to play, play ball with me? Okay. <laughs> we are off and running, chat. Here we go. All right, Phil, move forward. Now, Phil, I will tell you right now, I will not leave you alone. Open this door, Phil. Open this door to your left. One that, the one that I, the one that I'm okay. The okay. one on the left. Okay, walk in there. And read what is on the uh, the, the the portrait, Phil. How was that? Was that you? No. Because I didn't read anything and I just heard a noise. No. Just, just Magna. Magna. <laughs> <laughs> Switch does not seem to do anything. Exactly. It just oh, it just shuts off the uh, armor. Oh, no, it shuts off the armor. Obviously, uh, there's a switch over here. Nice. Well, these switches here. <laughs> that was not us. Again. All right. I think I heard Sabrina say mom. Huh? What? I thought you were in another room. Did you not? 
I heard that. that was, I thought that was, I, th- I thought that was Serena. I heard mom. Me too. I heard it too. It wasn't. That was not that a real person. Me. I'll tell you what, I, I know, um, I'm going to take a seat over here. Maker. The maker? You're probably told not to speak to strangers. And that's fine. That's fine. My name is T. And over there's my... Was that you squeaking? Ooh, no, that wasn't. I heard that. Yeah, that's now I hear you squeaking. I heard. What that. was that? It sounded like a voice. I I don't. It did. Yeah, it wasn't your because no, it wasn't me. It wasn't. Nothing got like caught that. in my throat. There was I, I marked it, but I it was a mumble. Did you you heard that right? One hundred percent. Cat, I swear, are you? Are you really doing this to me? Are you seeing this? Ah! Damn it, cat! Don't. Oh, you, oh my god! The cat. You little jerk! Man? What did you do to my game, cat? I swear to God. That's still going off in there, too. I would like the cat balls. Someone needs some cat balls. What was that? Someone needs some cat balls. What is that? What is that? Do you hear that, Pip? It's it's a it's a very wow. Hang on, it's a very rushed. It sounds like a rushed whisper. I need some cat balls. I'm now slowing it down to 175. I'm hearing turn around. Does anyone else hear that? I mean, something's... Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. But they're just not talking to us right now. They're just not talking to us right now. Do you want to go over to the green room? But I ask you, I ask you, since when does an actor never want to talk about themselves? Uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. It's me, Twitch Dad. <laughs> and I'm here. Yeah, this is where this is where it starts to get super creepy. This is the game Cyberpunk 2077 wanted to be, chat. I'm just going to come out and say it. This is the game Cyberpunk 2077 wanted to be. So, there you go. Well, thinner powder, let's get at her. Okay. Glad I got that out of my system. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the, that first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. But I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see features and companions in you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend, the very best the very best I could ask have asked for. Oh, this is going to be another uh, lo- uh, Last of Us ending where I cry, isn't it? I'm tearing up already. Oh. Oh. He heads but- he's headbutting him.
am I crying in a video game? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I did it, hon. I did it, hon. I am. Oh, I finished Stray. Worth every minute. Worth every minute. I'm gonna move you back just a little bit. What? <laughs> she does look like. I was just wondering if her belly was a little bit big. Yeah. Maybe that might be why she's hungry. That might be. So, Jack, you are upset that Wesley fought for Virginia, fought against his own people from Gettysburg. That must have been aggravating. Did, did, just, did you just whisper? Did you just whisper? Keep going, everything you got. Oh, I don't know. I'm worried. He's back at red. Come on. Oh, no. Steve Saylor? Him. Steve Saylor? <laughs> you did it! You did it! Congratulations, oh. Steve Saylor! You just picked up your second seal! That's a motherfucking <laughs> seal! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> team I fucking love it when T gets hyper <laughs> the team made him entirely of your clan! Hold on, hold on. I'm going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Yeah, you just saw 80 inches of me touching my nipples on your on your wall. You're never going to look at your wall the same way again. Okay. So I see uh Chad has met Marv. <laughs> Chad has met Marv everyone. <laughs> And wow, uh, so many people coming in from last night. Thank you all so much. And I, I, why is everybody talking about tacos? I know. Hey, everybody. We live. No, we're not. Fudge. Are you serious? Logitech, you have failed me. You have failed me, Logitech. You have failed me, Logitech. Why, why, why do you hate me so, Logitech? Why do you hate me so? So let's do let's do the Logitech let's do the Logitech shuffle, the Logitech shuffle, everybody. We go back to Logitech. We go to activate, and there I am. See, that's the way it's supposed to go. But Logitech has other Logitech has other things on their minds, I guess. So yeah, the 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 thing about it, it's I, I don't know if this is a Logitech it is a, it is a Logitech thing, but it's also a uh, Streamlabs thing. Basically, what happens is, is that if I switch from one, if I switch from one setup to another setup, Marv, the cameras don't come over. I don't know why. I have to turn them off. I have to turn them back off and turn them back on again. I mean, apparently that's what I have to do. So, there you are, everybody. There you are. Now I'm here. Hi, everybody. It's Twitch Dad, your pal, aka the T Monster, aka Just T. Hi, how are you? Uh, for anyone that missed yesterday, yesterday was a little nutty and I slept like a freaking rock. <laughs> I haven't had a, I haven't had a, a, a night like that in quite some time. And it was, uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. Now, uh, you might be wondering what's with the cat cam. There are no cats in the cat cam. Yeah. That's because gamer cat as advertised is here for the stream, but he is now mounted on top of the. He is, he is mounted on top of my of my gaming streaming PC. His butt is right on top of a book that sits right on top of the power button. Now you see, now you see, chat, why I have a book constantly, 24-7, on my PC. 
Benedict, that's 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 gamer cat here. Benedict, OG OGGC, uh, OGGC game. Uh, uh, Benedict, yeah, he he has turned off my stream before from the computer and from Stream Deck, and twice he has turned on my stream. Once when I was in the house, once when I was not in the house. Imagine my surprise, not as big as yesterday, but imagine my surprise when I was getting, uh, I was doing errands on a, on a Saturday that I had said, I'm not, I'm not streaming. And I get, I started getting messages from people going, why are you live T? And I said, I don't know. And then I look down, I, I pull up Twitch and sure enough, I am live. And I'm like, okay, Benedict, thank you. Thank you, Benedict. <laughs> he's just giving me, he's just giving me a stare right now. Would you like treats, Benedict? Would you like treats on this uh, on this uh, this new Sci-Fi Saturday vibes? Come on, let's go, let's go. Time for treats. Let me let me let me uh, let me switch switch perspectives. There you go. Here they come. is just trying to eat his treats and these cats are losing their effing minds here. Here. Hold on. Okay, we got we've got a full on we got a full on cat brigade here. Full on cat brigade. I love the double cat butt though at the top. The double cat butt at the top makes it all worthwhile. It really does. It really does. But Benedict got his treats, and apparently so did the little goobers. So did the goobers. Okay. Whew. Man, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to a look into my world. Um, and again, thank you. Big, 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 big ups. Uh, if one of my mods could please drop a modest shout out for Hello Doug there. Doug. Hello there. Um, Doug Doug really did turn around a bad week. Uh, also, also gave me a little a little bit of uh, a little bit of a boost. It felt really good. It felt really good. Chat. I'm not gonna lie. To go to my my uh, my 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 goals. I was trying to figure out what, how, how to put it together. Uh, my goals for followers and subs, and I had to change them. I had to change them. And it was uh, it was it was really nice to be able to do that. It was really nice to be able to do that. Um, and now I got new goals, and now I'm pushing forward with <laughs> nearly double the followers I had from yesterday. Whoo! <laughs> good times, everybody. Good times. Good times. So, for those of you new to the stream, for those of you who are new to me uh, as a as a Twitch host, first off, hi. My name is T. Uh, I go by Twitch Dad. I also go by T Monster. That's Benedict that you just saw take a lap. That up there, I believe, is Hicks uh, in the top one, and somewhere around here is Dorito. He is uh, he is doing the laps on the on the tree as well. So along with many cats that you saw we we rescued during the summer, we do a lot of paranormal stuff on this stream. Now it may not make sense because this is Sci-Fi Saturday, but I'm hanging on to Destiny because this is where I got my start. I got my start playing Destiny. I, I love this game. It's my soul game. I I um is Calcifer with the Ross uh, Calcifer's been with the Rossies, Marv. So you were you were one of the few people, Marv. You and, and Rogue were some of the few people that actually got to meet Calcifer. And uh I will tell you right now, Marv, Calcifer is is um uh his uh, I guess I guess it would be his 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 his, his uh Jew claw, and that's D U Claw. Uh his Jew Claw, um yeah, Phil Rossi's wrapped around it. Uh, Calcifer has got Phil on a very short leash. And and it was one of the best things Phil told me. It was one of the best things that that he could have chose to do last year. And uh, and Calcifer's, Calcifer's doing great in the house. Um, he has acclimated extremely well with the pugs. So this guy, Phil Rossi, he's the guy that I do Old Spirits investigations with. And Phil has two lovely pugs. 
So they are now all playmates. It's not even it's not even it's not even Calcifer, who was the black cat that you saw in the in the hype video. Calcifer, yeah. Uh he thinks he's a dog, or he thinks these are the weirdest cats because they all play together. So it's very cool. It's very cool. Um yeah, uh, as far and, and we're like I said, you know, we're keeping we're keeping the three, keeping an eye on Dorito uh for for uh for Sunny. And yeah, it's been it's it's been it's it was one of the one of the coolest things, one of the smartest decisions that Pip and I made to rescue Evie. Um, she's brought a lot into our life, and and we got we got we got no complaints. But how Evie ties in the paranormal is we rescued her during. That's what I appreciate about you. Thank you about that. Uh, the we rescued Evie during a paranormal investigation. Now, if you missed that story, don't worry, I'll recap it. But let me first tell you a little bit about the about the channel. Uh, you're going to notice some changes because I have been. This was supposed to be my segue into changing into new, new, uh, new programming, and boom, Doug Doug showed up. So there you have it. What I do on the stream is I do a lot of paranormal investigation. Um, there's there's Monster Hunt Monday, and that is when I play a horror game of some description. Right now, I am playing through Dead Space Two. Absolutely love it. Um, having a great time with Dead Space Two. I just finished Dead Space before you all got here, and. Um, and it's, it was the remake that I did, and and well, look at this, look at this, Jason coming in hard with a with a with a sub drop. Look at that, five five tier one subs to uh, to Dayo forty one to Zoffins to here's Johnny to uh, Jay the Fox and to Oh no Wendigo. Oh I love your name, Oh no Wendigo. <laughs> my wife my wife is a shapeshifter in D and D, and one of the shapes that she has is uh, is a Wendigo. So thank you very much, Jason, for, for doing that, uh, inching us closer to our sub goal of 150 subs. Thank you all very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, so uh, so that's Monster Hunt Monday. And then Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday is, is strictly paranormal stuff. Tuesday is something called the Grim Gazette, and that is where I talk, uh, I talk about weird news. I talk about uh, paranormal clips. I analyze them and break them down. I've already got one new clip from a... Um, uh, from a, from a watcher from last week, already in the queue. So if you have a weird news item, if you've got a paranormal clip from TikTok or YouTube that you would like me to to analyze as a uh, as a as an investigator, I'd be more than happy to jump on in and do that for you guys uh, on on the Grim Gazette. That's on Tuesdays, and then Thursdays is uh, is where I uh, sit down with some evidence and we go over the evidence. I talk about the paranormal process. I talk about how we how we do this thing, how we are not taking off our shirts and screaming demon. That is not paranormal investigation. It could be considered good television to some people, but that's not paranormal investigation. We do that on Thursdays, and then Friday, as you all saw. Emotional <laughs> damage. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. The demons took Zach Baggins' uh, eyesight. No, it didn't. Bad genetics took his eyesight, okay? I'm just going to come out and say that. Um, right. So, Fridays, as you all saw, Fridays is the Friday Fright Night where we play um, we play some Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed with the wife. And then we turn around and we play with the Phil Rossi Scream Team. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. Phasmophobia. Now, here's the thing, though. Next week, we are breaking in Lethal Company. I have never played Lethal Company. So for those of you who are fans of Lethal Company streams, and for those of you who have seen people get good at Lethal Company, you're not going to see that next Friday. No, you're going to see me stumbling over myself, probably dying time and time again uh, with my daughter laughing behind me. Because uh, yeah, we are going to we are going to play that. We are going to play that, Sam. Uh, so yeah, if you want to if you want to see if you, you want to see uh, old man gamer try out Lethal Company, <laughs> you're on next week. Come on by. And then, of course, we got Sci-Fi Saturdays, and that is where I'm reserving some time to play Destiny. And I also want to have at least one day where I can set aside to play uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Because, uh, sorry. Uh, no, yeah, Jedi Survivor. Because I played Jedi Fallen Order during the summer and absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved Jedi Fallen Order. It was so freaking good. Um really enjoyed it and and i'm like oh i gotta i gotta play survivor now i've got to play survivor but what i was doing chat was i was i was actually revamping the stream i i've been i've been at this for quite some time and i said you know what i need to 
figure out the step I'm missing. Um, I'm in Germany next to Saturday, so if you need Destiny help, reach out to the clan I'm in. You got it. You got it, Marv. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're going to Germany. What's happening in Germany, Marv? Is that a is that a is that a, a business trip? Or is that um... <laughs> you got it? Well, if you want to help me out, yeah, you know where you you know where uh, castles and beer. Damn, son. Download Ghost Tube and go to town, baby. I <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome, Marv. Well done. Yeah, I had a great time when I was in Germany. I um I went to Germany for my 50th birthday, or around that that time uh, of my 50th birthday. Absolutely had a ball. Loved Germany, and um. And what an amazing experience! It was just it was just uh, it was just so much so much freaking fun, and all the hype you hear about German beer from any of my beer drinkers in there. As a German, I can confirm there are only two things in our country that are important. Uh, no, there. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> No, actually, I'll say this. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this, um, uh, Tiger. I will tell you this. Your food. I was not prepared for how good German food is. Holy crap. That was, that was some of the best meals I've ever had on a vacation. I absolutely loved Germany. Um, architecture, the... Uh, I, I did find out that, that that whole German efficiency thing. Yeah, that's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a freaking lie. <laughs> Had a bad experience with your train system there, Tiger. Had a bad experience. And I was fresh off the plane, so, you know. <laughs> but no, no. The, the German cuisine is absolutely underrated. The It was absolutely underrated. And and um, I'm excited for you, Marv. I've been looking to get back to, to Germany. Uh, it's such a, such a great... And also, the people are great. The people. So I'll tell you a real quick story about, about me in Germany. So I, I basically am, am filming all this stuff and taking video, taking photographs. And we and it was at one of the one of the keeps. Somewhere in the in the German, uh, you know, uh, in the lower southern western part of uh, uh, southern eastern part, southern eastern part of Germany. And we get down from the keep, and we're we're you know I, we are we are almost back at the car, and I suddenly turn around, I look around, and I go, oh my god, I forgot my bag. And and it's the bag that had all of my camera equipment into it, and I'm like. You know, this, we're talking about five hundred dollars worth of camera equipment, you know, lenses and things like that. And I said, oh, "Crap!" And I was having a flashback to when I lost nearly fifteen hundred dollars worth of video and camera equipment during a uh, ill-fated. No, God! Yeah, yeah. No, God, please no. Oh wait, because no! I love this clip. No, no. So what happened was I turn around and I'm I'm sprinting back as fast as I can, and there's this dude cheerily walking down and he's got my bag in my hand and he and he looks and he lifts up the bag points at it and says something in german and and i go yeah that's my bag and he goes oh you're english are you from america and i'm like yeah and this guy would not stop talking to me <laughs> he's just he, he was suddenly my best friend he wanted to hear all about america and he was just the nicest he was the nicest rando stranger and i'm like Everybody in Germany is way too effing cool. I'm just going to come out and say that. Everybody in Germany is way too effing cool. None of my gear was missing. It was it was just very it was just very sweet. It was very sweet. So um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm be playing some Destiny. Uh, you know, top of the hour. This is where I, this is where I warm up. Just just chat with everybody. Find out how everybody's doing. Everybody having a good week. I hope. I hope everyone is having having a. Uh, do you have to pay to use the bathroom? Okay, okay. That's okay. So zipper. Here we go. When it comes to bathrooms, there are two kinds of bathrooms overseas. This is not just in Germany or in Europe. It is also in New Zealand, which I have visited a couple of times because of my wife and 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 where she's from in, in New Zealand. You have public toilets. Okay? It is it is the it is the Local magistrate, local government, they're the ones that are supposed to take care of said public toilets. And quite honestly, the public toilets are absolutely phenomenal overseas. I mean, they really are nice. They're just flat out nice. Um, I would never say that about public restrooms in, uh, in the United States. It is such, pardon the pun, a crapshoot uh, because... You you really don't know the quality of who's running said public uh, public. 
Wow, what a, what a surreal topic to talk about on my first stream back after getting mega rated. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, it, uh, you know, some, some public restrooms in the States are absolutely phenomenal. Some public restrooms in the United States uh, should be condemned, but are not because they are privately owned. All right. Now, however, they do have private restrooms overseas and, and, in, and in New Zealand. And it's like you pay, you pay like uh, like a buck or uh, or five bucks, and you get the private restroom. And it's like renting a proper bathroom. I mean, there could be a shower in there. There could be, and it is the it is the private. It is the owner of said private bathroom. Oh yeah 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 yeah. You you uh you basically tip them. Well, well the the private the the the, the private restrooms that I'm talking about. There's nobody to tip. You just pay you just pay the fee and you move on. But yeah, um, now what you're talking about, you know, tipping people in restrooms, that's if you're eating in a very fine establishment. And I mean a fine establishment. There are some establishments, like in Germany, uh, like in Germany, sorry, like in Las Vegas, when, when, uh, when Steve Saylor and I were out for TwitchCon in Vegas, there was a uh, place we went to, it was the Hoffenbrau House. It was the Hoffenbrau House. And the Hoffenbrau House actually had a, a like a, a, a steward in the in the restroom that was uh that was you know he's there to provide you a fresh towel make sure everything's taken care of you know that sort of thing um <laughs> i mean that's the thing when you, when you get a private restroom in one of these places i think i think you're allowed i i can't remember i think i think it pays it pays for like 30 minutes to, to some other time but yeah when you when you th there's a difference between the public restrooms and the private restrooms and I, I wish I knew, you know what? I could do some digging, Marv, and find out where in Germany there was this place that I went that it was a, it, it was a tavern. It was a true, honest to God, D&D &D tavern. This place was so effing cool. And they, they had beer on tap, but they also had different meads on tap. I mean, they had raspberry mead, blueberry mead, blueberry raspberry mead, honey mead. I mean, all, all these different kind of, of meads. And the place was only lit, if, I, if I'm remembering it correctly, I got to check my pictures. It was only lit by candlelight. I swear to God, this place was so D&D. &D. And you awake in a tavern. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, and and it, was, it, was, it was truly one of the coolest things in Germany. I, oh, and hey, Van, how are you? Good to see you, Van. Yeah, that, now you see, that's different. Again, truck stops, kind of the equivalent of a, of a public restroom where they're just hosing that shit down. These are public, these are private restrooms that are owned by another company and they make sure those things are, are absolutely spotless clean. Um, okay. Okay. So you won't be near Bavaria. Good to know. So, um, okay. You got it. You got it secondhand. I trust you. I trust you. How you doing Cthulhu? Oh, that's okay. Cthulhu. Thanks for popping in. I really appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Um, that's the thing, Zipper. Uh, the thing about the the thing about about uh, second hand, you will learn very quickly. She is one of my mods of the most. Whenever I do a ghost hunt, she's there. Whenever I am, um, whenever I'm I'm, uh, I'm 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 doing something that I can't I can't necessarily get to when it comes to chat, second hands on it. There's also don't panic uh, and uh, resonant moon. They 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 are my they are my three mega mods. And then there's my daughter, and my 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 daughter. The reason the reason I don't necessarily refer to my daughter as the mega mod is because she's the uber mod because uh, she also takes care of my discord and <laughs> it's a family business really around here. But speaking of paranormal investigations, speaking of paranormal investigations, I, I, I may have some good news for everybody. There may be a possibility that we will be doing a live paranormal investigation from a favorite location, Linville Manor. In February, okay, in February. Yeah, um, we're, we're pretty freaking stoked about this because I'll be taking some friends who have never been on a, on a pair, well, a friend who has never been into, you forced me in here. <laughs> well, you know, I can. <laughs> um, but we're going to be taking some, uh, some friend, we're taking a friend and her cosplay group to Linville Manor, hopefully. 
uh, for a paranormal investigation, and I will be I will be streaming it live. Well, better powder. Let's get at her. I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, one thing you have to know, though, chat about the paranormal investigation streams, and I will say this at the top at the top when I am. You're not chopped liver, Jason. I just haven't seen you in here for a while. Thank you very much. You, I mean, you've been here lately, which is great. And when we're when, when we're talking about in February, it's, it's around the time of of, um, of Valentine's Day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See what what Mar Marv sentiment right there. That's how I feel. I went into paranormal investigation very much with a hard skeptical eye, and now I'm just like. All right, and you know I'm 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 rolling with it. I'm rolling with it. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, Sam, it's um it's Allie. It's a uh, it, it, it's Allie Grower. Allie Grower is coming in for uh for uh Katsukon. and she wanted to know if I and and uh, if she and her and her cosplay friends could get together and we could we could go on a ghost hunt. So yeah. Um. So anyway, um. So you got to go. Getting ready to get minivan for okay, okay. Tell minivan we said hey, okay, okay, van, and thanks a lot. Thanks for popping in. So, um, so yeah, that that's happening in February. Now that's if I can get, if I can get uh, um, Linville Manor. If I can't get Little Linville Manor, then you know Plan B. So we got to figure that out. Uh, speaking of the paranormal as well, uh, if I have anybody watching on YouTube right now. Don't sweat it. Uh, you might want to come over to Twitch if you can, because I I am accidentally <laughs> the the UI for Streamlabs when it comes to multi streaming is a little weird. If I if I if I hit um, if I hit the proper UI for for Streamlabs, it will say, "Do you want to stream on on both on both channels?" And I can I can turn off YouTube. If I launch from Stream Deck, it automatically just 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 multi streams and i'm just like okay so this will be a this will be a one and done over over youtube but here yeah just hang out hang out um <laughs> uh yeah it's a uh, it's it uh, it's sid sid 23 hi how are you yes yeah the 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 edited and paranormal stuff exclusively is on youtube here it's a little more it's a little more it's more a little more free flow with a focus on the paranormal and the only time i will be multi-streaming to to uh to youtube will be on thursdays and fridays that's fyi so for anybody again new from last night that didn't know the story about evie and how she ties into paranormal investigations here's how it goes so we were investigating a place called the old hospital on college hill and i'm not sure I'm not sure if uh, I do have a YouTube, uh, um, if I have a YouTube tag or not. I'll have to take a look. Um, yeah, go go check on your smoked mac and cheese. Good man, good man. Priorities, priorities, Marv. Priorities. So we were investigating. We being OSI, being at that time myself, Phil, and my wife Pip. The the three of us were going to be investigating with West Virginia Paranormal, and we were checking out this place called the old hospital on college hill. Now, if you've heard of this place, this is, um, a pretty infamous, pretty popular place for paranormal investigations. It's in Williamson, West Virginia. And to give you an idea of how deep, deep South, what this is in West Virginia, all we had to do was cross a bridge and we were in Kentucky. So we were in pretty much Hatfield McCoy territory and this old hospital on college hill overlooks the town. It's pretty ominous when you see it. I got I got to admit, it's pretty ominous when you see it. When Pip and I pulled up to our Airbnb, we heard this. It's like it's like it, it wasn't it wasn't a, a strained or a distressed meow. It was just that was that was the meow we heard. And in the darkness, we saw this beautiful little torty cat. We were guessing it was maybe a year old, maybe at the most. And um, as you saw in the hype video, she was bulging in different places. So we thought she was pretty much a feral pregnant cat. That, that was our first assumption. Um, and what happened was is that I went on ahead and, and uh, happened to look out the window the next morning. She was still on our deck. And this was in August, so it was really super hot. I mean, and I, I don't mean super hot and, ooh, that's hot. I mean, I'm talking it was, it was hot. And... 
I managed to, oh, yo, uh, Real Drago with a follow. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, appreciate it. Yes. Um, a crispy oh, meow. I like that, Sid. I like that. A crispy meow. That, we kind of liken it as it, she sounds like she's one of those um, one of those uh, torch song singers from a, from like a jazz club or something like that. And it, and it was it was it was a very it was a very hot spell for West Virginia. And she was staying on our deck, underneath the the patio furniture to stay to stay in the shade. And I fed her a piece of cheese, and she she shot right through it. And I said, okay. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to get like some treats or something like that when we go and get stuff from, from, uh, from Walmart. And I expected her when we got back from Walmart, because again, you know, Kentucky, West Virginia, that was the best place that was around. But Walmart shopping at Walmart, not not too bad. But we got what we needed, and I bought bought a bag of kitten treats. My wife was shaking her head at me. She was just giving me this, you know, the side eye, like we're not taking that cat home. And we were feeding her treats. We fed her like we fed her like a little bowl of treats. Now, as feral cats do, we were expecting Evie. Well, I should say, before I named her Evie, we were expecting this 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 um this tortoise shell cat to just take off after she got fed. She stayed there, and not only that, I I reached down to try to get a better look at her to see if she was male, female, if she was if she was bulging or if she was pregnant. And she literally hopped into my hand and and just and just purred up a storm as I was petting her. Oh yeah. Oh no, no kidding, Zipper. She totally chose us. But the 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 thing that was that was really amazing was if she was a feral stray cat, she wasn't running away from us. And I said, This cat's been abandoned. And I checked with the next door neighbor. The next door neighbor basically said, Yeah, there was a couple that came here and did some, they were doing some biking. And after they left, that's when the cat appeared. So already I'm like, hmm, that sucks. And playfully, I named her Evie P. Um, and if you want to see the spelling, we, we went with we went we went the Cardi B route. We went the Cardi B route, and we uh, you know this was the name we gave her. And again, Pip was was trying to keep distance, but even she was starting to really kind of fall for 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 Evie's charms. She never left. She never left the um, the 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 deck. And when I did manage to touch her paws, I could tell that she was also staying on the deck because some of her paws were, uh, some of her pads were, 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 were calloused. They were, they were really, really rough. Um, now, if you want, if you want tacos, uh, baka, hubby baka. I hope I pronounced that right too, hubby baka. If you want tacos, you gotta wait until after story time. So, um, so then we actually went out and got cat food. Now at this point, Phil has joined the, joined the, 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 the cabal. And Phil is like, man, that cat knew a mark when it saw it. And he's giving me endless grief. Keep that in mind. Endless grief. But this cat was just so freaking sweet. They were just so freaking sweet, right? And I was trying to frame in my head because I started to think, I, I stopped thinking about the the uh, the summers. I stopped stopped thinking about the 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 summers in um in West Virginia, I started thinking about the winters in West Virginia. And if this cat was pregnant, and if there was anything we could do. So we started we started making the rounds. We called the shelter, left voicemail, waited two days, and we found out from the vet that, yeah, the guy who ran the shelter was dead and hadn't been replaced, and they were still looking for a replacement after two months. The vet actually said, yeah, you know, we can check to see if anybody's missing a cat. You know, I mean, I, I, will, I will say this, and this is not a slam against people who own dogs. If this had been a dog that we had rescued, I guarantee you people would have moved freaking mountains in Williamson, West Virginia to save this dog. But to give you an idea of how, how anti-cat country we were in, um... We called the guy who owned the Airbnb and we said, well, do you know anything about a cat? There's this cat that's that's on the deck here. And the guy's like, do you want me to get rid of it? And we're like, no, we just want to know if you know anybody that is missing a cat. And, you know, the guy was like, uh. keep in mind, this guy also had a television system set up and he didn't even know how it worked. Um, I don't think it's that necessarily uh, zipper. I don't think it's that so much as 
dogs are considered more useful on a farm or in farm country than cats. And you know who knows, but but that's the way it was. Uh, this is the way I was told by um, by some former relatives of mine who uh, worked on a farm out out in the Midwest. So anyway, so we were just hitting dead end on dead end on dead end, and the worst one was the vet recommended that we call, or sorry, that we that we stop and pay a visit to this place that um, worked out of a trailer. And they had rescued a lot of dogs. They didn't know if they rescued cats. And they didn't have phone number, but they did have a website. And it was just, this was what we were facing in West Virginia. Um, and I was trying to figure out how to frame to Pip, I don't want to leave this cat behind. I really think this cat has been abandoned. Um, well, there's, there, there, it could be that too, Sid. It could be that too. But fortunately... The next morning, and this was like this was like on the on the the night of the investigation. Pip said, "You know, T, I've been thinking," and I was like, "Please tell me we've been thinking the same thing." And she said, "I don't think I want to leave the kitten behind. I think I think I want to I, I want to bring this cat home, and we'll figure out what to do next." And we're like, "I just kind of went, oh, okay, great." And of course, Phil is shaking his head, shaking his head. We do the investigation. The investigation is absolutely amazing. We're going to be sharing that footage uh, at the end of season three of old spirits that's over that's over on uh on um that's over on youtube and we uh we got back and then i and then we got we got puppy pads we got uh um, we got a carrier and here was the confirmation that that yeah this this cat was not unfamiliar with this house and was probably abandoned by these said these said bikers that came and went because we opened the door and evie strolled in like she knew the place she just strolled on in. She didn't care too much about being in the crate. But then she calmed down and, and uh, Phil said, man, it's going to be a long drive home. Seven hours in the car and Evie didn't peep once until we said, Evie, you OK? And we just hear this, you know, and it was like, OK, OK, she's good. She's good. And we got her here, got her checked out for the vet. She was a little malnourished, but they did note that, yeah, she was pregnant. And they told us three kittens, four tops within a week. Five weeks later and five kittens came out. <laughs> five kittens came out. And who was the first one to claim a kitten? Phil. Yeah, Phil. Phil. You better settle down over there. I'm going to come talk to you. I, 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 I'm like, okay. I see what's going on there, Phil. I see what's going on there, and uh, and and that's the story of Evie, EVP, and and she's she's been she's been great. She's been great. She went through the procedure last uh, two weeks ago, and I know I know Jason, right? I know a hypocrite. Yeah, absolute hypocrite. Uh, danced, by the way. I know danced. I saw you out there. How you doing? Didn't want you to think that I missed you. Um, but but it's uh, it, it's funny how life works. It's funny how life works, and um, and the 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 biggest fear was, of course, how are we going to uh, you know acclimate the this cat and these kittens with our older our elders, you know, because Benedict, Vi, and Sebastian they're they're all fifteen, they're up there, um, but they they're actually getting along just fine. The only time it got a little weird, Evie was about to go into heat. We could tell. We can tell. Hello Evie, there. Hello there. Uh, Evie was about to go into heat, so she started hitting on Sebastian and Benedict, and they just kept looking at him. They, they, you know, Benedict and Bat. You know, Sebastian just, just, you know, would look at me and he'd just go. Girls are weird. Girls are weird, daughter. They're just weird. Benedict, he'd be, he'd be like. Girls are weird, Dad. Girls are weird. Benedict, are girls weird? Girls are so weird, Dad. They really are. Are you using that stupid voice shifter on me? Mm. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm OG. I'm OG GC. OG Gamer Cat. I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed. <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, locked boxes, you're in you're in stream. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. 
Um, at the very beginning, yeah. At the very beginning, Evie was very standoff. And I think Pip, Pip's theory on that was that um, was that GamerCat, um, she recognized GamerCat as being above her in the pecking order, and she did not want to be on the low end of the pecking order. So I think she was just trying to establish some dominance. But when she was creeping towards going into heat, she thought he was kind of cute. And um, that made for some really awkward afternoons. You know, Bast coming up to going, Father, I have questions. I'm feeling tingles. I'm feeling tingles in places where I shouldn't be feeling tingles. Seriously. I got no bits. I just don't. Help a brother out, Dad. <laughs> he didn't know what to, what to do. Yeah, it it, it 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 really can be um um it really can be grim. It really can be. Yeah, yeah. Well here's the here's the thing, Marv. This is the this is the thing you missed. Again, the joys of being with so many cats in, in the room. Um so now we're keeping an eye on the kittens. Yeah. And they're creeping towards that time to when they have to go through the procedure. And um I don't know if this is an influence from Uncle Benedict or if it was just Dorito establishing dominance, but right in front of everybody, Dorito was sat in the middle of our bed and just went, and this is right after we had just, we had just laundered the, um, uh, the, um, the duvet and the, the, the comforter and the sheets because somebody peed on them at night and, uh, we're talking, we had just, well, I should rephrase that. Pip just finished going through the procedure. Only she knows what to do. She, <laughs> she, um, she got it clean. We had literally just, just finished making the bed and Dorito went, and we were like, oh, you gotta be kidding us, cat. You gotta be kidding us. Cause we were blaming Benedict for the earlier infraction. We now think that it was in fact Dorito. Said, what? No, I know it wasn't you, but you know, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Laundry time, I know. <laughs> but, you know, um, we'll take the good with the bad. We'll take the good with the bad. Um, and 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 there have been some really lovely moments. Uh, some of the cats have cuddled up with Benedict. Some of the cats have cuddled up with Bast. It's been kind of sweet. So, you know, and, you know, and, and it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, thank you, Polka. Thank you, Polka. Um, so the, the the cat names uh let's 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 run it down uh we um because um for a while there i was naming cats after shakespeare so this is uh this is benedict he had a sister who unfortunately passed due to a heart murmur uh her name was beatrice and then there was sebastian and viola they're from 12th night um those are those were pip's cats we acclimated them and originally, I was going to stay with Shakespeare until we got to, uh, you know, we had to name, we had to name uh, this this other rescue Evie, particularly EVP. We had to name her EVP because we we rescued her during a uh, during a paranormal investigation. You know, and that's slow hanging fruit. But then the tough part came to naming the kittens, and they went through several cycles. Now, uh, the tabby, the uh, the ginger one, that's going to Sunny, my daughter Sam. And um, they have christened they have christened the tabby Dorito, so he's Dorito. And then there were the other two cats. Now at the time, my wife Pip was writing an alien novel, and we have been watching Aliens quite a bit uh, just to get her into a frame of mind. Let me tell you something: Aliens is one of those movies you could watch it over and over and over and over and over again, and it just gets better every time. It just gets effing better. So, so we named, um, we named the two silver tabbies, Hudson and Hicks. Problem is the two tabbies, whew, the two silver tabbies are, are identical to each other. The only way we can tell them apart is that, um, H Hicks's stripes go all the way past his shoulders. Hudson has a break in his. So, you know, so, so we just have to make sure that we're like, which one are we looking at? We, we always flip them over. Uh, and that's the only way we can tell them apart. So this is an insight into me. This is an insight into what you can see on the stream. For those of you coming in from the weekend, thank you all very much. I hope you um, 
uh, or sorry, who were coming in from yesterday. Thank you all very much for coming in. I hope to see you all for some of the other programming that I'm going to be offering uh, in the in the coming weeks. And if you have any questions about what we do here, anything on the stream, paranormal or otherwise, we have three tabbies and always go, who are you? And which cat? Yeah, I know. Well, if I if I call Hudson Hicks, that's a real that's a real simple one. One of us, Pip Pip or myself, will go, Hudson, sir, he's Hicks. You know, I mean it's it just it's just boom. Uh it's 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 in there. Uh, but yeah, if you and and kitten talk, if you want to if you want to do the kitten talk, we do that here too. As you can see, I've got my kitten cam up. But Benedict really likes I, the only reason I do not have a kitten cam for Benedict when he's sitting on top of the on top of the PC is because it looks he he makes him it makes him look like he is you know like he's looking down at you and it's kind of ridiculous. Thank you for the posture check. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm live. Yeah, I'm live, Bonnie. Yeah, I'm live. Hi there. <laughs> I am live. Hard to believe, but I am live. Okay. Uh, all right, where, where, okay, where is my, it's, oh. Hello there. Did you just do it? Oh. So Benedict's got a new trick, everybody. Hold on. You did, didn't you? Oh my God, Pat. Don't, don't give me the innocent meow. Don't even, here, get on your tree. Get on your tree. So I have one of those uh, USB strips that you can turn things on and turn things off. GamerCat has learned how to turn off. Oh, Bonnie is my dog. <laughs> there we go, Bonnie. There. <laughs> We named the dog, Bonnie. Uh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, so, yes. GamerCat, he has learned that, he has learned a new that, trick. Uh, he can actually turn off the switch that is connected to my mouse, which is why I couldn't find it. Which is why I couldn't find it. Oh, if everybody wants, wants to see one of the cats, this is Benedict. Hold on. There you go. Yes, you're on camera. You're on camera. Chat. I'm Benedict, and this is my stream. Don't tell anyone else, and don't tell Dad. This is my stream. My stream. My rules. I gotta lick myself. Okay. Hi, everyone. All cats, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, the um, the cat cam will also be available when I game. So 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 we got it. We got this going on. All right. So let's uh, let's fire it up. I'll figure out what I uh, need to Aww. what I need to get done. I've been carving little wooden cats as gifts, and I absolutely have to make ones that look like the gamer cats. <laughs> It's it's really funny. So so Benedict, uh, and and if anybody's curious, yeah, that's uh, that's named after Much Ado About Nothing. So it is actually Benedict, and he was a rescue cat. Um, he's been a challenge. He's been a challenge. He's had he's had some behavioral issues. Um, but he's what was really funny about him. Anyone want a hug? And that's my wife. No hugs. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Um. What was really cool though about Benedict was he kind of got out of his shell because I was, uh, I started off as a, as a couch streamer, right? Started off streaming on a couch and Benedict would inch closer and closer to me while I was gaming off the couch. And then eventually what he would do, and you know, the slightest noise would set him off. The slightest noise would set him off. But he was able to nudge himself between me and the arm of the couch. So I would have my stream here, Benedict would sit here and then I would be here and I'd be on my controller, right? And that was how, that was how he became GamerCat. Everybody was obsessed about GamerCat. And that was, when I, that was when I, my, one of my first early lessons about streaming. If you've got a pet, if you've got a pet, it might not be a bad idea to have 
a a pet cam. And I've heard people say, yeah, but pet cams are hard because, you know, you got to keep track of the pet. You got to do this. You got to do that. And it's like, yeah, they're hard, but they're they're worth it, man. They're worth it. So um, that's that that's my that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. OK, so let's see here. What that's what I appreciate about you. You're welcome. <laughs> Nice to have Letterkenny fans in here, I tell you. <laughs> Still haven't watched the last season. Still haven't watched the last season of Letterkenny. I'm 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 trying desperately to 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 steal myself for it, but it's like watching it's like watching the last season of of, of Ted Lasso. Still haven't watched that either. And I, I gotta I gotta I gotta break the seal on that and watch that. And I and I, 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 now I'd be the first one to say. However, Letter Kenny had eleven seasons, um, and Ted only gave us three, but they were three quality seasons. All right, let's see what we got here. Get on that Ted Lasso. I know, danced. I know, I know, I know. So, a Doug transfer. What are your must-watch vids on your YouTube? Ooh, ooh, wow. Oh, man. Let me think about that. Um, okay, well, first off, the channel itself. Have you finally finished? No, Marv, we haven't even we haven't finished it. We got to get on that. I know we have to get on that. Well, first off, we were really distracted by Echo. Holy cow, Echo was incredible. We loved Echo, and we were also watching Monarch Legacy of Monsters, also on Apple TV, and it it's yeah, um, just just amazing, just amazing. Uh, I was also wondering that you said you had videos that you think are great but didn't do so well. I'd love to know what your favorites are. Okay. And uh, hey, Boo. Hey, Boo. So if you want to see Boo the Little Ghost in one of my videos, you can look up the Tuckahoe, uh, the Tuckahoe investigation because uh, we took, we being me and and uh, and Phil, we took Boo, uh, Boo the Little Ghost, and uh, another friend of hers. We took her and her friend on their first paranormal investigation. They came up uh, from South Carolina, and then we went down to South Carolina, and that's going to be our season three opener, is our, um, our our thing there. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, that is that, is that boo. That is that boo, Marv. That is that boo. Um, so anyway, when it comes to, but when it comes to like my favorite videos, wow, that's tough. Because you see, the thing is, season one and season two were both dramatically different, um, and but as as you saw, the 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 link that passed by on old spirits investigations, that is that is the YouTube channel, and uh, or it'll take you to the YouTube channel. And when it comes to my favorites, well, okay, um, go all the way back to season one, and you'll see one of the earlier uh, episodes we did. It was, I believe, the second episode yeah it was a second investigation and it's um it's one of the investigations that actually has cracked into the thousands and you know performs pretty well even after a year but it's called terror at haunt at haunted crash site twa flight 514 that's a pretty intense one and that's one of my favorites and then you've got our two-parter um in crescent the relentless ghosts of crescent are frightening and we were locked in with them. That's the first one. And then part two is ghosts make contact with us in haunted prison. And see, here's a good example. The TWA one cracked into the thousands, but the, um, the two part that we did of Crescent has only gotten 247, 247 uh, views for the first one and then 215 views for the second one. So I thought that was, I'm, I'm still kind of perplexed by that because Crescent is a hot spot. Crescent is one that that a lot of teams uh, went on to investigate, but when we investigated it, it was a brand new site. Only one other team, to our knowledge, had actually gone in there, and it was a group called Paranormal Quest, and they must have gone in maybe a week or two before we did. Um, that was a really good one. Now, from season two, though, from oh, I can tell you a, a favorite from season two. Uh, favorite from season two is. Um, Infamous Haunted House on the Hill. The history. Oh, sorry, that's the history one. Um, the Haunted House on the Hill, Linville Manor, parts parts one and two. That's a good one. 
that's that that's a really good investigation, Linville Manor. And then, um, and then there's all the five minute paranormals. And th uh, that I'm going to leave up to you. You decide which five minute paranormals you want to watch, uh, because we do everything from how to look for EVPs to how to grade EVPs uh, to reviews. We actually have a review of Selena Spooky Boo and Call Me Chris and their um, Highway to Hell series. I actually did a review of that, and that is performing that that one as a five minute paranormal is performing very well. And then we also did a review of. Project Fear, which is kicking up again in, um, uh, it's probably, it's kicking up again on February 2nd. Probably the reason the flight crash gets more is because people are drawn to plane accidents. That could be the case, Jason. Um, the other thing is too, that I, I'm, I'm, I, I take pride in, but it's also kind of, kind of eerie. You can't go back to the TWA flight site. You could go to part of it but you can't go into the crash site like we did to investigate it. And the reason why you can't is because they have built luxury homes there now. You didn't mishear that. There was, there was, uh, there was a, a group that actually built homes on the site of, of the crash site. Have I been to any haunted artifact museums? That's a good question. Um, no, I have not. Uh, no, I'm not grim. And, um, and in particular, the ones that I am the most, uh, um, trying to think of the, of, of the nicest way to say it, um, skeptical of is the ones that, that, um, that Baggins has a hand in. I, I just have a tough time with that. I, I have a tough time with him. I have a tough time with the, now, if that's your jam, if, if Zach Baggins is your jam, then more power to you. Um, I, I'm not going to yuck somebody's yum, but he is not. There's a line. There's a line that you, good news, your homes are haunted. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, it's been really tempting to, to go back up there and just like tuck cards into their, uh, into their, uh, their mailboxes and go, you know, just in case anything weird's happening, give us a call. But I, I've chosen not to. But when it comes to what we do at OSI, we we're about the history we want to know more about the history and we want to know we we, we we go into any space with um a lot of reverence and um and a lot of respect we just want to make sure that we're um we're we're, we're being respectful to whatever is still remaining in that area okay and you can take that however you wish. You can take that however you wish. But um, that's the way we roll. We even we even have a uh, we even have a five minute paranormal. This is when is a demon not a demon? Because that's that tends to be a um, a word that gets thrown around a lot. And will you answer? And I honestly feel like um, that. There is a fine line between paranormal investigation and paranormal entertainment. And if you decide you want to get into paranormal investigation as a hobby or you want to start up a YouTube channel, you've got to ask yourself, okay, why am I doing this? And why am I doing this? And what is the end goal? And I remember I was asked that in chat once by a rando. Someone said, you know, what is the... Uh, you know, why are you guys doing this? And I said, well, we're doing it because we want to preserve the history. We want to, we want to remember that there were, there are people involved in this and, and that these people, you know, these people, yeah, you know, were here among us. They were, they were, they were part of the world and we don't want people to forget that. And I, th I think that changes your perspective versus, okay, we're going to make this as crazy and as wild and as wacky. You know, the, the element of danger, for example, I mean, if you're in danger on a on a on a on a ghost hunt, you're doing it wrong. Um, and and I I, I I I know my limitations. I know my limitations on what what I will accept on a paranormal investigation. What I won't. Um, there's a cool one where I live. That's why I was curious. Um, it's important to be respectful to whatever may be there, regardless of your skepticism. 
Yeah, the Charleston trip was a was was that. It was a trip. And and just so you know, Boo, we do address what happened to me at Charleston. And ironically, it goes back to history and knowing the space and knowing what happened at said space. All right. All right, let's see here. Right. Right. Okay, so the Aham car is no longer there. All right, I remember that. Just in case I have to go back in there and do and do stuff. Okay. Now it said, go to the Dreaming City. So we're going to go to the Dreaming City now. Dreaming City. I believe that's what it said. So what are we seeing or experiencing in terms of like labeling things as a spirit or a demon or whatnot? Well, I can honestly say I have never... Oh, travel to the gardens of uh, Acelia and find the source of the celestial anomaly. Ah, okay. So I got to do the constellation. So we... Um, so here, I, I can say this. We have not... I... I Honestly, until until I start getting levitated off the ground and, you know, turned into a human origami, I don't know if I'm going to be seeing a, a demon anytime soon. I have I I just I just feel like the um oh wait, I'm going to hold on. Oop, I'm getting hit. Oh, oh, son of a biscuit. Oh my god. Whoa, dear. Four decisions made. Four decisions made. Hold up. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't hang here. Hold on. Just give me a minute here. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. All right, great. You know, I'm just. I'm trying to talk to my chat here. Do you mind, sir? Do you mind? Really? Really? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Oh wait, he spit something out. There we go. Oh, it's a prime engram. Let's go. Let's go from the minima. Yeah. Well, here's what I like to tell people when it comes to that. Um, when it comes to that, Kaylee. Um, so, have I proven in the two years that I've been doing this? Have I proven that ghosts exist? The answer is no. Has some really weird stuff happened to me? Yes. Um, in Charleston, for example, I'm, I'm going to try to use these words as gently as I can, but just bear with me. Because Boo was there when it happened. Boo the little ghost was there when it happened. Something made its presence known to me and went out of its way to make me uncomfortable. That's the nicest way I can say, that's, just not, that's the nicest way I can say something attacked me. But, um, you know, I got out of the house. I was good. And I calmed down as soon as as soon as I was out of the house. And Boo was there, and she was kind of talking me down. Now, uh, Bonnie's asking about Edwin. That is one of the weird mysteries that we that we um, uncovered during the candy factory uh, um, investigation. And that was when we kept get we kept getting the name we kept getting the name Edwin over and over again. And we found out about this 1928 uh, car accident. Well, it really wasn't a car accident. These four kids were joyriding. Their their car got hit by a train, and one of the kids that was killed was named Edwin. Um, we have caught shadow figures. That happened at Crescent. Uh, we've caught we've caught some incredibly wild EVPs. You see that you see some of the EVPs that we caught in the um Oh, so Bonnie, oh, so Bonnie is both happy birthday, Doug Doug and Bonnie. Got it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Nice to see you again, Bonnie. Birthday, Bonnie, I'll call you. Birthday, Bonnie. So, um, so we have had a lot of weird stuff happen to us, uh, Kaylee. We've had a lot of stuff happen to us. And now, what I where I get very uh, cautious about when I start getting into and talking about the paranormal, have I done anything? Like, have I have I tried to reach out to my dad? Have I have I done anything? No, I haven't done that because. This is all very experimental technology and very experimental science that we're getting into. 
And even if I can prove that something happened, it's not proof, you know? It's it's this it's it's the 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 hardest thing about paranormal investigation that um and paranormal the paranormal scientific field, for example, uh is that in science you need to be able to do something to make a to you need to be you need to do do the experiment to make the reaction happen. And if you make it happen twice or three times and you can confirm your 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 results, boom, that's science, right? In in a nutshell. But when it comes to the paranormal, it's it it's not that easy. It's it's almost like working with quantum physics. Whew, that's kind of a it's kind of a stretch, I know, but but bear with me. Um, yeah, the I'm here. E, e, uh, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Twitch mom. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, you, we we've we've gotten some incredible EVPs, and one thing that we that we do, and you'll see this in in some of our investigations if you if you go and check us out on YouTube. You'll see that one of the things that we try to do is we try to capture one event on several cameras. It's a disagreement I have with a lot of um, with a lot of uh, of teams when they go, "Hey, I've got a really good camera, I've got a really good mic. That's all I need. I don't need redundancies." No, you need redundancies because if you have, it, it's one thing to say, "Well, you know, if you caught this on that camera, there could be there could be a glitch in that uh, in that card. It could be an artifact. It could be a lot of different things." But if you catch this, and we've done this, if you catch the same voice on three different devices, then you have to sit back and go, hmm, okay. And, and you know, I, I, I think, it, you know, you really do. You, you, get what you, you get what you bring to it. And I think what, what Phil and I, okay, I got to go to the Gardens of Elu, and that's the other way around. And I, I do think that, that Phil and I bring That's bring what to I this. appreciate about you. Um, we bring to this a sense of um, a sense of of respect and a sense of hey, we're here we're here to try to figure this out. We're here we're here to try to figure this out. We're here to um, we're, we're we're here we're here to see if we can't make this work. Uh, we're here we're here to see um, what we can understand and what we can take from all of this. And because we bring that that level of respect, I just realized something. I need to be running a sword because there's a. Why do you seem so scared? Please come and play with me. Thank you, Jason. Give me, give me a second here, everybody. But yeah, we um, um, but but I, I do think that that paranormal investigation, when it you know it's it's good to bring a skeptic eye to things. Um, the 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 big another big hang up I have is that every creak you hear, every noise that you might hear, does not necessarily mean it's paranormal. Hello there. You have to you have to take you have to take what you have to take in a bigger picture of everything that's around you and what's going on so so there you go i hope that i hope that answers some questions uh that answers some questions for you uh you being a respectful aura to the table um oh well thank you thank you thank you kaylee i appreciate that i try i try event incoming ascendant rift okay that's definitely not something i want to be a part of uh, I want to go to the gardens. Uh, let's take a look for the gardens. Um, oh crap! I gotta get. I'm I'm going the wrong way. I'm going. I have to go up. I have to go up. Let's uh. That's that's going this way, right? And thanks for all the questions, everybody. Th this is this is um, this is what I do, especially when I'm um, when I'm uh reviewing evidence. I also try to go into, hey, this is how we do this. This is how we, this is how we're, this is what we're looking for. This is what you listen for, and that that sort of thing. Um, how often do you change our pine litter? Ah, that, that's a kitten question. Um, we change it when it's less pellets and more dust. If it's, it, you know, if, if it's um. If it's if it's if it's more if it's more dust than pellets, then it's time to change. So yeah. 
What about you? Okay, now when it comes to apps, you have to be real careful with apps because some of the apps that are out there are absolute are absolute garbage. Um, now, the app that we swear by and we've had great results from uh, is, a, is an app called, and I, it was the one that I told Marv he should get for, uh, uh, that Marv should get for, for his trip to Germany with all the castles. There is an app called GhostTube, and we did a review of it, and we love GhostTube. So GhostTube is very cool because what GhostTube does is that, does is that it takes your phone, turns it into a video recorder and an audio recorder, which it already is, but then also turns it into a word bank. So you can be walking around and the theory behind word banks, like an ovulus or something like that, is that the um, there's a dictionary inside in, in, inside your uh, your word bank, and the idea is is that is that um, whatever whatever is whatever spirit is around, it will um, actually look at it will look at it will look at what uh, at, at, at your at your word bank. And if it finds a word or a name or something, or something that, um, or something that it wants to communicate to you, it will then uh, spit it back to you. Now, sometimes the words, uh, sometimes the words have no meaning whatsoever. Other times the words are spot on. Now that's not the same as a spirit box, but it's it's very close. Um, the other thing, though, that 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 Ghost Tube that the Ghost Tube does is that it, it actually turns uh, it, it takes the it takes the 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 magnetometer in your um, in your phone, the one that's used for the compass, and it turns into an EMF reader, and that's pretty cool. And yeah, we we um, it, it, if you look up if you look up most popular, you should see the EM uh, the uh, the Ghost Tube app in there now. There, there are several flavors of Ghost Tube apps. You have uh, Ghost Tube, Ghost Tube Vanilla. Um, you've got, is it Gardens of Elsa? Okay, so now I got to find the uh, the anomaly. Where's the oh, jeez! <laughs> Thank you, random. Ah, I, forget, I keep forgetting I've got Blurp on. So, um, um. Okay, so there, like I said, there was, so there are several uh, flavors of Ghost Tube. You got Ghost Tube, the vanilla, the original, and it's just called Ghost Tube. Then you've got Ghost Tube, um, Ghost Tube Vox, and Ghost Tube Vox is um, is is similar to turning your um, your phone into a spirit box, a spirit box that's that's uh, that, that is um, connected to a portal. And what that does is it's supposed to filter out the sounds taken from uh, from radio frequencies. That it's supposed to take that out, and that's that's what Ghost Tube Vox is. But the one that I rec and then there's Ghost Tube SLR. Now for modern phones like this one, Ghost Tube SLR work great. But I'm not a big fan of the SLR technology. And I'm sorry, Thrax Gaming. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry that I didn't uh, shout out to you sooner. Um, but Ghost Tube SLR basically uses the same technology as the Connect, and it's supposed to spell out like a figure. It's supposed to see something there that isn't. And yeah, I'm not all into I'm not all into to the SLR. But the one that I do recommend is Ghost Tube Seer. Ghost Tube Seer is quite cool. Um. It's actually doing the same thing as the word bank, but instead of giving the word out, it will use AI to render an image. And if used, and again, as we as we've said before, and what what GhostTube says, the people who make GhostTube, which is which is a, another channel called Amy's Crypt, and if um, if if you're looking for something good to watch uh, for for um, for paranormal on on YouTube. Watch Amy's Crypt. They're very good, but they're the ones who make all these Ghost Tube apps. And um, if you use Seer with other devices, other other different devices in, in the paranormal field, it really does add a new level of conjecture to the investigation. So I dig that. Um, do I think animals can detect ghosts? I've seen some weird stuff. 
on uh, on on Ghost Hunters when they when they uh, they brought in um, Abby, one of their uh, uh, it was one of Jason's dogs, I believe. And Abby was man. Um, Abby Abby had some some weird stuff happening uh, with with her. Um. So I I think it's a, I think it's very possible. I've seen videos of. Um, I remember seeing on 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 a on a video from Amy Bruni. Um. There was a cat that they were filming, and the cat literally uh, was asleep. And the cat's head pops up walks to walks down the corridor to another room and then um just sits in the corner and just looks just is just looking in the in the corner of the room like there's somebody standing there that was pretty compelling that was that was pretty compelling now am i going to take any of our cats no i'm not going to take any of our, 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 we, we we got we got indoor cats but you know if our cats start acting weird we're going to be like okay time to break out the sage we got we we got some we got some we got some unwanted house guests. All right. I think I need to go towards where the where the rainbow is because that's where I'm that's where I'm going here. That's fine, random. That's just fine. Oh, here we go. Might as well. Pop it. Pop it. Lock it. Shift it. Push it. Kill it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying there, Sid. You know, when they're when they're just randomly staring at stairs or something like that, it's like, eh, is, that, is, that, is that normal? Are we are we good? Are we good cats? Seriously, are we good? Okay. Ooh. That's what I want to see. More heavy. More oh, yes, please. More heavy ammo. I feel old. Why would I <laughs> Well, here's the funny thing. I started doing. I, I I'm on this bop it kick. I'm on this bop it kick because um, there's a uh, there's a streamer I've been watching, BB Buzz, and um, he actually has as a, he actually has as one of his channel points thing, uh, bop it, and he pulls out a bop it and he basically does it for everybody. And I didn't realize that the new bop it's are now like they're 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 doing like almost like beatboxes. I hated that toy. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, it seems it seems like Bop It is having a uh, um, a new renaissance, if you will. There we go. Okay. Is this where they want me to go? I saw the rainbow. I didn't taste the rainbow, but I saw the rainbow. All right. I just want to make sure that, uh... So if you're curious, what, what what's happening is I've, I've been told in my in my in my desk in my destiny in my destiny logbook i need to i need to um i need to go to the gardens of uh of um at least elsila i need to go to the gardens of elsila and i will find a a a location somewhere around here that i need to use my bow on so you know. in the meantime i'll just rack up sword kills Ooh, okay, that works too. And I'll know it's the right place. I'll know it's the right place when it when it when it pops up somewhere. Uh, when it pops up somewhere that I need to, like, I have to commune or something like that. A crazy cat lady, thank you for the follow. You're right at home here. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I was told, Marv, that I had to be in the Dreaming City, travel to the gardens of uh, Esla, and find the source of the celestial something or other. So I thought I had to go toward to where the rainbow was. That was wrong. On the cliff's edge? 
So all the way, oh, I see, yeah, now he's. The minute those words leave Marv's mouth, that's when I see it, for Briggs' sake. Now I'm using my sword. I'm using my sword because there's the new sword challenge. So there we go. Okay, so it's up here. All right. Have I thought of trying Warframe? No, no. <laughs> I've seen Warframe. It 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 really doesn't do anything for me. Oh oh, come on, come on. Um, the next sci-fi game that I'm going to pick up for Saturdays is going to be, is definitely going to be, um, see, this is the cool bit for me. I love this. I'm a bit of a NASA nerd, so I'm, gonna, I'm I enjoy this. Okay. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Why are you not? The NASA nerd in me absolutely loves this. Yeah, but the next game, the next sci-fi game I'm going to do is going to be uh, Jedi Survivor. Because I had such, I had such a good time with Jedi Fallen Order. Well, hey, Legend Gamer, uh, I'm assuming you you discovered me through um, uh, through Doug Doug, correct? Now, what is this going to make out? Come on. Oh. Almost missed one. <laughs> I almost missed two. Oh, I'm making the bow, everybody. I'm making the bow. Oh, my God. That's great. <laughs> Love it. Love it. We. Okay. Are apex predators of the highest order. Mm. The instincts that rest in your bones speak louder than I ever could. But what I leave you is what these solids, these humans, might leave their brood. Cold, hard facts. I do so because there have never been a Many paths lie ahead. The garden of your conception grows in many directions. You are children of light and dark, in many meanings and none. You may be all that remains. Choose your path wisely. Everything has a so this message was meant for her progeny. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave a decree to the paladins and corsairs. These stars are not to be touched until they are found by those for which they are intended. All right. Perhaps Riven meant to entrust me with them. Perhaps not. But I will bear responsibility for her brood. Come what may. See, when people ask me about why I enjoy death, this is great. It's just you don't want a hug. All of this, no hugs. Just some of the, just some of the fun little challenges, and just, uh, just, you know, the the whole atmosphere. I love it. I absolutely love it. And hi, baby. That's my wife, everybody. Sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, I need to do a an exotic constellation, and. Or star crossed, an exotic star cross mission. And unfortunately, um, I'm gonna need some help with that because, yeah, reasons. Um, simply put, chat, when you come to this channel, you're not coming here for, for you know, grade A gaming. I, I, I game I game because I enjoy it. I, I game I game because I enjoy it. <laughs> okay. 
let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Yep. So while I wait to see if anybody is... Oh, well. Oh, okay. All right. Looks like I'll be doing it in the next half hour or so. All right. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's 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 the the cat cam is at its best when I actually have cats in there. I mean, I'm not gonna lie there. Where are you? Oh, what a great trick. what a what a fun trick shot that was. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And is that it? Orange whip? Orange whip? Okay. There you go, Va. There you go, Vi. See? See? You 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 were promised a destiny stream. You got a destiny stream. Oh, and my bike is still here. How cool is that? Okay. Um while I wait for everybody to um get I assembled, I will go on ahead and um I'll go ahead and knock out some other Hey, hi buddy. Hi. What's up? What? What's wrong? Did you, did you, oh, you, let me guess. You want food. You want food. That's exactly what you want. You want food. You're like, you're like, I want, I want some, I want some noshies. Is that what's going on? This is Benedict, everyone here. Hold on. Come on. Come on, you old man. Come here. This is Benedict. You want me to give you your meds? He's purring. Love you, buddy. Now get back in your tree. There you go. All right. Uh, let's see. What have I got here? High seas dance. Hold on. Oh, dear. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that one. I want to say this is Coneheads. I think this is. It might be time for pumpkin. It might be time for pumpkin. You're 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 right on that. It might be time for pumpkin. Hey, K Cookies with the follow. Thank you very much for that follow. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Remember, every little follow you you all drop here, that helps. That really does help. <laughs> I kind of dig that one. I don't have enough uh, bright dust for it, but I kind of dig it. Okay. The Wanderer Shell. Mm. I, thought, I thought I already had the Celestial Kestrel. I don't have that? Okay. War Torn Peregrine. Mm. Onomatopen Onomatopoeia. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, I kind of dig that. I kind of oh, oh wait it's already purchased oh okay I just got to put it on my tractor cannon all right uh let's see well then um right I was gonna go to destinations good I'm glad I wanted you all to hear the purr I wanted you all to hear the purr oh the nightfall is Neomuna okay let's just see here um overload and unstops. Overload, auto, impulse, and then um, unstoppable hand cannon. There's my hand cannon. Okay. Unstop hand, overload, pulse, right. And then I can use, oh wait, no, I can't. It's for Vanguard, okay. Oh. Okay, Thrax. I will be here. I will be here. And we want stasis and solar. Hmm. 
Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> <sighs> and I think probably what I'll do is I will, um, I will have to take a, a, a slight break around two ish or so, uh, just to make sure that I get the kittens fed and I get uh, Benedict fed, get his meds in. We'll be good. Yeah. And thank you everybody for joining me. I do appreciate it. What a great way to start off a stream with new friends and new folks in uh, in, in in chat. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you were watching Destiny on this Sci-Fi Saturday Vibes. I'm T. You can call me T, T Monster, or Twitch Dad. I know a lot of you are just figuring me out and just discovering me via Doug Doug, and I appreciate uh, you taking your time and coming in here after this stream. Sunday's off, but we'll be coming back Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be doing the Monster Hunt Monday, and it's going to be Dead Space 2. And then on Tuesday, we have the very first, or episode one, or issue one, of the Grim Gazette. So you'll be able to, to enjoy that. Okay, here we go. Guardian. I don't even remember the strike, everybody. Are shifting their attention to the cloud arc. That's likely why Neomuna's defense systems are reading offline. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, okay, now I remember this. Oh. There we go. Maybe doing a fool's errand here. Oh, geez. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Damn it. A tear streamer. <laughs> oh, that's. Wow. Wrong one. There we go. Boom, baby. Two on stops down. Let's go. I'm gonna make up for the uh, for the, for the hiccup I had earlier. <laughs> oh, and if you want to uh, stay up on the schedule. Like what, like, you know, when I'm doing what, where, uh, you can always check my, you can always check my discord. You can always check this channel on Twitch. The, this channel on Twitch will have, um, uh, will have the schedule graphic up. That usually happens, uh, if not on Sunday afternoons on Mondays. So just keep an eye for that. Now I remember this strike. Now I remember the strike. Not my favorite strike, mind you, but you know, I remember it. Okay. Ooh, last guardian standing. Nope, nope, nope. Never good. Never good. Hang tight. I got you, boo. I got you. Oop. All right. Maybe not. What do you mean I'm still the last guardian standing? Why am I still the last guardian standing? Oh, that guy didn't leave, did he? Oh, that would suck. Here, I got you. There we go. Ooh, let's go. 
Oh, oh, dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hi, baby. No hugs. <laughs> Okay, Kite Zack, um, I'm gonna be. Bless you, but. Alright. I gotta get to where he is. Okay. Oh, unstop, unstop, unstop. Oh crap. Okay, I took him down, took him down. Great. Hang tight, bro. Hang tight, boo. Alright, let's do this. Are you getting up in my business? He getting up in my hizzy? All right, now he's immune. Can't even see where the vulnerable spot. I don't see the glowing. Oh, there's there's the glowing vulnerable spot. Oh, but now he wants to talk to me. Okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> tease mortal enemy. Well, that wasn't jumping that killed me though. What it would kill me was that I I, I took a I had a um whoa, I had a uh, um a sword on and apparently I swung, and the momentum took me out. Momentum took me out. Okay, let me, let me take care of these boys. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Whoa. Ah, crap. There we go. There we go. Boom. Jumping puzzles in D2 are quite challenging, yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, chat. I didn't even know how to jump. Uh, the people that I that I ran in D1 with, not all of them, but the, the, the people that first took me into D1, they were, let's just say they were alpha, they, they were alpha, alpha guardians. They, they wanted to teach me enough, but not enough that I would grow. So when they told me to jump, they basically said push X. They didn't teach me anything about the about the, the the jump mechanics or anything like that, and it came back to bite me in the ass. Um, and Marv is right. Uh, Marv, I would say Marv is like my my, my destiny Yoda. And I, I, you know, I've told him this before. I've said, you know, dude, um, I've learned more about how to play this game through you. Oh. Oh, there you go, T. That was a well-placed grenade right there. That was a well-placed grenade. He's almost dead. Ah, fudge. Come on, he's a bee stick. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's right. We got to go into the... Oh, I forgot about this. I'm not sure how much damage these taken can do, but hopefully we can sometimes that happens you know sometimes that happens but I, I run I run with really good people now I run with really good people I run, I run with with people like Marv and my kid and poop and they're just they're really good people and it's um it's all part of the gaming gaming experience especially when you do co-op games like this you know it's like it's like um you know it does matter the people that you're oh what oh, oh, oh. I 
admire this guy's hoods, bro. Okay, we got another champion up there. And he's gone. He gone, chat. He gone. You watch the boot portals. Watch the boot portals. There's got to be a way right. to destroy these flights. We can't let more of them fall. Oh, snap. He just wants to ask about your cat's extended warranty. <laughs> Dos, uno, and respawn. Thank you. go high oh uh, crap I for oh yeah this is where I gotta do the okay let's see if my driving skills have improved at all nope huh oh. come on T you got this you got this there we go there we go there we go come on T Come on. Come on. Come on. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh, this is why I don't play Forza. Oh, oh. Come on, baby. Come on. One shot. One shot. Make it happen, T. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, huh. Oh, my God. Hype. Hype, everyone. Serious hype. I don't drive like this normally. Oh my god. Where are you? Alright, he's down. Okay. Push further into the network. Of course I want to, yeah. Of course I want to do that. Ah. Oh! Snap. <laughs> yeah, S-Class SRL 2016. Sparrows are fun. <laughs> oh my god, I hated SRL. <laughs> Oh, damn, son. All right. I got you, boo. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, boo. Okay. Oh, he's finishable. What the hell? I mean, I'm finishable. It's just get out and get in and get out. What am I waiting for there? Don't play with your food, T. How's that? Um, how's that? How's that smoked uh, smoked mac and cheese looking there, um, my friend? If I had known you were making smoked mac and cheese, Marv, I would have sent you my recipe. They're fitting allies for Callus, investing any space they're found in. If we'd waited any longer, this would have been much worse. Yeah. I don't even want to think about that. 
Okay, I gotta... Oh, shoot. I could not get to cover fast enough. Needed 30 millimeters more milk, but the flavor is intense. Ah, oh, love it! Beef and chili sauces are blowing my mouth apart. <laughs> this makes me so happy to hear. Well, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. Now. Hello there. Hello there. That's old Ryder. Old is it? Oh wait, is it Winterfang or Ryderfang? Old Winterfang. Okay, old Winterfang. Okay, I love that. Thanks for the hello. Are we, we're going up. I think we're going up. There we go. Now I'm going up. I wasn't sure if it was Old Winter Fang or Old Writer Fang. I'm like, okay, Old Writer Fang, did you, did you used to write uh, zombie or, or, or uh, vampire vampire novels? What was that? <laughs> but I got you now. I got you now. All right, Frosty. You and me. Let's go. Took me a moment to remember this Nightfall. I'm like, ooh, yeah, this. Yeah. This is multi-tier, multi... yeah. Should have dropped my rift. Should have dropped my rift. Oh, thank you very much. I, I I do appreciate that. Thanks for popping in. And good morning. <laughs> good morning on wherever you are on your part of the world. Cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Boom. It's funny, with the new programming that I've been doing, um, I, it just feels weird gaming. <laughs> uh, feels feels weird with Destiny, but you know, it's working. Is this the, yeah, this is the tiered stuff. Okay. Shadow touched. All right. There it is. Yep, grab that. He's immune. Okay, go back and get the other one. for the blight.
damn it. Ah, oh, <laughs> got homework? Okay, no worries. No worries. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for popping in. Oh dear. Stay alive, my friend. Stay alive, Frosty. Stay alive. I'm almost there. All right, I'm here. Great. Okay. Oh, that was stupid of me. I should have... I should have uh, dropped a well. Ooh, what am I doing? What am I doing, T? I'm not, I'm not doing what I should be doing. There we go. there almost there and final phase here we go okay Now, you know, here's how I know I've come a long way in my destiny. At one time, I had to stay still. I could not move and hit targets like this. I could not do that. So the fact that I'm able to do that tells me that I'm, I'm, I'm not pro level, but you know what? I'm getting close. At least for me. Whoa. Okay, new objective. Where are my boys? Ow. Oh, all right. There's Frosty. Ow. First off. Ugh. Come on, T, get up there. There we go. Where is he? Where is the Taken? Oh, he's right there. Okay. for it there we go uh, but the problem is we weren't making any points on that last bits I did my best to support my team they're starting to make homework not worth a great not worth a grade where I'm at interesting <laughs> hey I'm just happy I'm improving my friend that's it I'm just happy to improve okay um this was frosty um yeah this was the guy that I, I kept 
He left. No, I commended this player? No, I, I have commended this player. Oh, he left. He must have left. Commend. Yeah. Okay. That was weird. I just want to give me some options there. I just used to spend a lot of time in detention. I... You know, the funny thing about me with, with, with when I, you know, in the before times and the, in the ancient times, uh, when it would come to homework, I, I was one of those people that, that if it was a, uh, if it was a writing assignment, I was all over it. I can handle it like a boss. I was, I was, I was good. I was absolutely fine. Uh, but man, I, I could have been a better student. I wish I was half the student that my, that my kid is, man. Um, our daughter is killing it academically and I could not be prouder of her. Um, so yeah, yeah, we got that going for us. All right. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody is, um, got some stuff planned for the weekend. You know, they have some, uh, some fun stuff that they can, you know, go off and just kind of relax and enjoy themselves. And for those of you who are doing homework, I hope your studies are going well. <laughs> Whoa. Guardian, my forces report that Shadow Legion Ooh, what kind of bread? Tell us. To Talk to me, Hudson. What kind of bread are you making there, Frack? What kind of bread are you making there, Frack? Not them. Oh, son of a biscuit. Get back down here so I can... Uh. Dang, I can't get up here fast enough. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, snap. <laughs> the lemonade recipe from that Game of Thrones cookbook. Oh, wow. And hey, lockboxes. Welcome back. Yeah, wasn't there a... I, I want to say there was this whole thing about lemonade in one, in one scene. I can't remember. Boom. I thought Cersei was always drinking wine or something like that. I mean, Cersei was always drinking wine, if I remember correctly. Especially during the siege. That's right. There, yeah, that's right. Sansa was all about the lemonade. That's right. They can't be drunk all the time in Westeros. Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Sleeping with that many relatives, you're not going to be making best judgment calls. I'm just saying. So one thing you'll learn about here in this um under the witnesses control. We need to get one of the things you'll be you'll learn about in this uh in the stream everybody is my love of trejos tacos and that's that's not a not, that's not a that's not a, a callback to 
um, to the other night, the um, um, the the book tra the the cookbook Trejo's Tacos, yeah, that got me through the pandemic. That was an, that's an amazing cookbook, everybody. If you're looking if you're looking for a seriously good cookbook, with some amazing taco recipes. I highly recommend. I highly recommend Trejo's Tacos. And yes, if you're wondering, is that like Danny Trejo? Yes, it is Danny Trejo. That is Danny Trejo's uh, cookbook extraordinaire. All right, here we go. Oh crap. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's a, that's a, I mean, I, 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 Here we go. Whew. And Jason, thank you for the, for the, for the 10 bits. I still need, I still need a, I, I still need a machete, yes. Jason wants, uh, just so you know, chat, Jason wants me to do a Trejo's Tacos uh, stream where I, I use, instead of a knife, I use a machete. Apparently, he, apparently, um, apparently Trejo's done that himself, which comes as no, no surprise or shock to me. Oh, nice job. Nice job, team. Let's follow those taken and remove them from the system. Anybody can cook. You just, you just got to have a little bit of patience. You just gotta have a little bit of patience, my man. I I I always consider myself an average cook. When um and then and then when the pandemic happened, I felt like it changed it changed my motivation to really feel solid about my cooking. And uh, since then, I, f I feel well. I, I tell you, I tell you that the the cookbook that has challenged me the most. The Destiny Cookbook, and yes, that is also a thing as well. The Destiny Cookbook is also quite good. There we go, boom. And we have, if I remember correctly, there is, uh, I thought that, oh, I guess he already took care of it. Oh no, there it is. Boom. Let's double take the phalanx, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Zipper, are you saying there is a one-piece cookbook? Because if there's a one-piece cookbook, I, got, I have a question for Sunny. I have a question for, for, my, for, for, my, for my daughter. If we got you the one-piece cookbook, would you consider cooking from that? And that would be your night, uh, that would be your night to cook. Too much grease? <laughs> I still need to get the Ghostbusters cook. Wait, is there a Ghostbusters cookbook? Really? I didn't realize there was a Ghostbusters cookbook. Ever. If there's, oh, here we go. I gotta do this. Again. Hello there. Hello there. All right, here we go. Um, all right. So we can do this, but better. Ooh. Ah. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Ah. Well, I was doing fine rib until uh, until I fell off my bike. Ah. Damn it. 
Damn it all. Dash it all. Hi, Reb. <laughs> and they make me do it again. Um, I believe there is a God of War cookbook. I believe there is a God of War cookbook. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. <sighs> Hi, Spence. <laughs> Hi, Spence. I can't remember if they pull you. Eventually, they do pull you forward, but man. I think I know my new, I think I know my new, my, my, my new arch nemesis. And it's no longer jumping puzzles. It's these things. Yeah, this is... Okay. Up and over. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the game cutting cutting me a, a, a serious break. <laughs> All right, let me try this again. Wait, what, um, oh, right. There we go. Just to make up for my, my, my inability in driving. I hate, I, one of the reasons why I hate the Taken so much, they do that. They'll just, they'll just rent. They'll just randomly pop shields whenever they feel like it. Must be nice. Must be nice being taken. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, okay. That was a good shot. That was a good shot, team. One and one and done. Okay. Just give me your cranium. Thank you. Oh. Take out the rifts, we'll all be good. Okay, there's E Rocks and me. All right, let's do this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, one more. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was pretty slick. I don't mind saying that. That was pretty slick. Being able to do that. Being able to go in and go, okay. We'll take out that champion before we leave. Hey, yo, Thrax, how are you? This Thanks for coming sense. back. I appreciate it. Let's get rid of that taken before it Hope you're having a good chill fun. Saturday. I think I am. I think I am. No, I think no, I know I am. I'm having a good I'm having a good chill Saturday. I have four rounds on my sword left. How the heck did that happen? All right, so. 
There we go. Nice to be able to clear the decks like that. It makes me happy. I want to see if I can do a little better this go round. I want to know how I was getting crit hits when I was hitting him from the back. Let's go. Now, don't use it on these guys so much as use it on the blights. Okay. Focus on them, their blights. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, these guys. Every oh crap. I don't think I put this well in the best of places. Because I think Lights show up. And then Okay. Well, that was a good. That was a good round. Okay, that was a good round. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's hang in there. Okay, Spence, lurk away. I hope last night's. Um, I hope last night's um, uh, event for you went well. Oh, here we go, fellow warlock. Let's go. Warlock life, best life. All right, come on. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. Wow. Much better. Much better run. We're back in business. Let's go. These things are still punching us. What the heck? All right. Oh. <sighs> It's a favorite of mine. Okay, best dressed. You're gonna give me best dressed. Fine. I'm gonna give you Joybringer, and I'm gonna give you. Oh, I was running with a team of warlocks. It turns out. Ooh. That was why I got best dressed. Ugh. I thought I did better than that, but okay. Uh huh. Oh, Chris. I I'm sorry, Chris. I did not even see you come into chat. I hope everything went well. Um, is the Starcross legendary? Yes or no? Well, let's find out. Because I'm in. I'm in if we have a third. Let's see. Um, yes, legendary. Da 
Let's see. Might be hearing the kiddo again because we're going to be doing a run. We're going to be doing a run here. And let me just see how much time we have. If we have to take a little break, it'd be good to take a break, you know, a little stretch break, that kind of thing. One of the things that um, I am I am trying to be more conscientious of this year is doing things like that, you know, making sure that that not only I get the chance to take a break, but that you get a chance to take a break as well. Stretch, hydrate, get something to eat. Um... Because I had a snack before I came on here. I kind of woofed down a snack before I came on. And I'm realizing now, yeah, I think I could use I could use something a little more substantial. Just just a just a just a quick little 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 uh little, little lunch breaky, what have you, you know, something like that. Uh, I'm also one of those gamers when I when I do game, I tend to grip the controller like it's a life preserver. And <laughs> I uh Oh, poop is sick? Oh, dang. Okay. Mm. All right. So, so, uh, didn't realize that the poop was feeling under the weather. Me with crochet hooks, I feel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, you need to, lizard. You need to actually um, look up um, look up our our, our friend uh, our friend Resonant Moon on here because they also cross stitch and they made they made me and my wife this lovely glow in the dark hat for paranormal investigations because we tend to we tend to do our investigations in the winter and um, it's best because it's low tourism season and it's just it's just copacetic like that um <coughs> and um she, uh, they are also one of my mods so they're easy to spot they're easy to spot here uh so i tell you what we do uh i'm gonna go on ahead and um rehydrate take this time for yourself to stretch take yourself uh take take your t mm. this is what happens when you stream and you haven't eaten properly take time to get a bite to eat take a time to you know have some self-care if you've got meds take those meds make sure you stay on top of this okay and uh thank you all for being here again you're gaming with the team monster it is a sci-fi saturday vibes we got uh benedict hanging out with us today i'm gonna put on a brb reel so you can get to know the channel a little better and know me a little better so i'll be right back sit tight everybody That probably steps. He is steps because I am I am at I am at drill and he is not here. And over there. I don't see him. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, baby. I'll take it. I'll take that. That felt really good. That felt really good. Come on, give me some hype in chat. Give all me right, all I your hype super. emotes in chat. Let's go, Do baby. It. Do it. Do it, baby. All right, I've got a super going. 
All right, they are they are right in front of you. Throw it. Hit it, baby. Yeah, hit it. I got some, baby. Oh my God, he got him. He got, he got his first. He got his first Let's invader kill right here. Let's go, get some hyphen shot, baby. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. There we one. go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just so right, I don't Jack. care. I'm camping spawn right now. It's a black guy doing this. <laughs> and I'm back, baby. All right, let's kill this primeval and go home. Yes. <laughs> Woo! All right, melt the primeval, fire team. Melt the primeval. Let's make this happen. Let's go. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> let's melt this, baby. Let's hit this. Let's hit it. All right, Get let's it, go out on a Get win, folks. You got. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, let's we did go! It, baby. Let's Woo! go! <laughs> How many did you take out? How many did you take I, out? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think well, I took no, out no, like no, maybe two or stats. three. Don't say in your stats. Don't say, say my stats. stats. Okay, let's stats. see. Hang let's on. see, Chad. Come on. Let's do this. Oh my God! He was one away from army of one. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, we did it! <laughs> Through a grant from No Kid Hungry, which was a majority of our resources, right? That to be able to um, purchase this truck and get it going. So families have a hard time to get from one place to another place. And I was like, man, why can't we be the ones to get to them, right? And we could lift off that that burden, you know, eliminate that barrier, and be able to serve our students, our families, um, in a way that they feel like we actually care for them. Hi, I'm Steve Saylor, aka Blind Gamer Steve. I'm a content creator and accessibility advocate and consultant in the video game industry. My name is T, T Morris. Uh, people call me T, they call me T Monster. I also go by Twitch Dad. <laughs> when I started uh, looking into wanting to stream, I had known this dude here for about, like, I think about 10 years at that point. Ten years. And so I reached out to him. I was like, hey, you know what? I know you play Destiny. W like, would you be cool kind of uh, helping me and guiding me through through the game? I've never played it before. This is when I gave you a, a little bit of honesty. I said, are you sure you want me? Because <laughs> you, you've, you've seen me play, so you know how bad my aim is. It'll be the blind leading the blind. And, and he went, that's, oh, that's what we'll call it. All right, there's the traveler. There's the traveler Ooh. in front of us. Let's go. Walk forward. Walk forward. I want you to enjoy this. As someone who has a disability where it affects my vision and it is hard for me to be able to play games in general, having someone take the time and guide me through being able to play a game and, and not try to rush me through things, that meant the world to me. Where's that? All right. Oh, there, there he is. Yes! In any other game, it's usually people don't want to play with a disabled person. Whereas with Destiny, I can jump in with T, I can jump in with with my friends, and even when we just jump in with random blueberries in in, in the community, we can still be able to help each other out. And that's why I love Destiny. Did you shoot my friend? That was a bad choice. It's all about being able to reach out and pick someone up and being like, we can do this together. And that is being a hero. It's being able to lift everyone else up. It's not about you. It's about the fire team. That's what makes a good guardian, is when it's about reaching the end goal and reaching it together. What is that? 
what is that? Do you hear that, Pip? It's it's a it's a very wow. Hang on. It's a very rushed. It sounds like a rushed whisper. I need some cat balls. Yeah, I th I, I thought it was something on the floor, but it's not. Someone needs some cat balls. I'm now slowing it down to 175. I'm hearing turn around. Does anyone else hear that? Turn around? It's not quiet on, the, on this side, <laughs> on the red line. Oh, no, no, I, no I can, we can all hear it. We can all hear it. hear it. We can all hear it. Oh god, I actually saw it move. I've got some and then I'm going to drop that in. Shadow. I have never seen Sebastian with that look on his face. <laughs> are you? No, it's not that, Scott. It's not that. It's are you seeing this? I. Chat, I want you to look into my eyes. I want you to look in my eyes, chat. Sebastian, you're beautiful. I want you to look into my eyes. And I'm going to hear, I'm going to tell you something right now. This is the face of someone who was on his last. <laughs> This is someone who is on his last It's happening, chat. What's happening? <laughs> and here I was, worried that I didn't have anything to do on the stream, and I think I've got it now. It's just basically gamer cat cam. <laughs> He's turned back into his teen years, I know, right? Benedict, are you okay? Sometimes they're just so tired because they haven't had anything to eat that they'll just put their heads down and go to sleep. I never really even consider a student is going hungry. A lot of times they don't want to tell you because they're embarrassed. When our school district started offering meals regardless of income, kids feel just as valuable as the child next to them. No Kid Hungry helps schools get the supplies they need to feed kids. Food is the most, most important in school supply. Down, boss is down. Nice, nice. Darkness oh, God. Darkness envelops you. No lives left. No lives left. That's it. I think we did it then. Steve, you just completed your first legendary lost sector. Can I get some hype in chat? Can I what? get some hype in chat? 
Can I get some hype and chat for Steve Saylor, who just completed his first legendary Lost Sec- Now you gotta do a solo. <laughs> Demon Master Bottoms. Okay, standard bottoms. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, chat. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. I'm ready. Now, if I remember correctly, I think my tartan is yellow. I think the Morris tartan is yellow. Think so? Oh, clean up on all seven. Jeez. It's okay. It's okay. It's totally fine. Because here's the thing about the series that I like is that you don't have to know anything about the movies or the books to be able to get into the show because it is set thousands of years before any of the books or movies anyway. So it's been really great to just obviously be able to kind of just sit down and watch it and just enjoy it for the, the lore for what it is. Um, my ep favorite episode so far actually has been, uh, now actually the pilot was really good, but I actually really enjoyed episode six, which was the, cr the, 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 especially the ending there with the, you know, the creation of a certain volcano, uh, that, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to see more of and, uh, seeing how that kind of develops. Don't tell me cause you've seen episode seven. <laughs> I don't, I, <laughs> anyway, um, but T what's been your favorite episode? Oh, that's easy. That's easy. The one in Casa Doom where uh where durin says to oh you haven't seen that one yet you haven't dude why are you here no, no, stop I mean, it stop it i get it, it i get it stop i get it. it no 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 hang safe on. space safe space <laughs> f that dude why are you stop here it. you should be back in your room watching lord of the rings rings of power right now so what the thing i liked about first off when it comes to on-screen bromances we thought we had the ultimate in in the original trilogy but let's be honest there's never been a better bromance on television than Elrod and Durin. I mean, when when Durin when, when Durin says, "What was that?" Oh, the, no, they oh, were the behind, behind us. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, when he goes. When he says, Go look for the, uh, I'm gonna go look for the invader. I'm willing to bet probably steps. He is steps because I am I am at I am at drill and he is not here. And over there. I don't see him. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, baby.
I'll take, take it. it. I'll take it. I'll take that. That felt really good. That felt really good. Come on, give me some hype in chat. Give all me right, all I've your got hype super. emotes in chat. Let's go, Do baby. It. Do it. Do it, baby. All right, I've Hang got super going. All right, they are they are right in front of you. Throw it. Hit it, baby. Yeah, Hit it. I got some, baby. Oh my Woo! God, he got him. He got his first. He got his first invader go. killed. Let's go, Jack. We get some hype and shit, baby. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. There we one. go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just. So All right, I don't Jack. care. I'm camping spawn right now. It's a black guy doing this. <laughs> and I'm back, baby. All right, let's kill this prime evil and go home. Yes. <laughs> Woo! All right, <laughs> melt the prime evil, fire team. Melt the prime evil. Let's make this happen. Let's go. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Let's melt this baby. Let's hit this. Let's hit it. All right. Hit let's it, go out on a win, folks. You got. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, Let's we did go. It, baby. Let's go. <laughs> How many did you take out? How many did you take I, out? I, I I don't know. I don't know. I think well, I took no, out like maybe two or stats. three. It'll stay in your stats. It'll, it'll stay in my stats. Your, okay. Stay let's see. Stats. Let's Hang see, Chad. Come Chad. on. Let's do this. Oh my God! He was I one away three. from <laughs> the army of one. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> oh my God! We did it! <laughs> Through a grant from No Kid Hungry, which was majority of our resources right to, to be able to um, purchase this truck and get it going so families have a hard time to get from one place to another place and i was like man why can't we be the ones to get to them right and we could lift off that that burden you know eliminate that barrier and be able to serve our students our families um, in a way that they feel like we actually care for them Hi, I'm Steve Saylor, aka Blind Gamer Steve. I'm a content creator and accessibility advocate and consultant in the video game industry. My name is T, T Morris. Uh, people call me T, they call me T Monster. I also go by Twitch Dad. <laughs> when I started uh, looking into wanting to stream, I had known this dude here for about, like, I think about 10 years at that point. Ten years. And so I reached out to him. I was like, hey, you know what? I know you play Destiny. W like, would you be cool kind of uh, helping me and guiding me through through the game? I've never played it before. This is when I gave you a, a little bit of honesty. I said, are you sure you want me? Because <laughs> you, if you see me play, so you know how bad my aim is, it will be the blind leading the blind. And, and he went, that's, oh, that's what we'll call it. All right, there's the traveler. There's the traveler Ooh. in front of us. Let's go. Walk forward. Walk forward. I want you to enjoy this. As someone who has a disability where it affects my vision and it is hard for me to be able to play games in general, having someone take the time and guide me through being able to play a game and, and not try to rush me through things, that meant the world to me. Where's that? All right. Oh, there, there he is. Yes! In any other game, it's usually people don't want to play with a disabled person. Whereas with Destiny, I can jump in with T, I can jump in with with my friends, and even when we just jump in with random blueberries in in, in the community, we can still be able to help each other out. And that's why I love Destiny. Did you shoot my friend? That was a bad choice. It's all about being able to reach out and pick someone up and being like, we can do this together. And that is being a hero. It's being able to lift everyone else up. It's not about you. It's about the fire team. That's what makes a good guardian, is when it's about reaching the end goal and reaching it together.
would like the cat balls. Someone needs some cat balls. What was that? What was that? Someone needs some cat balls. Do you have them? What is that? What is that? Do you hear that, Pip? It's it's a it's a very wow. Hang on. It's a very rushed. It sounds like a rushed whistle. Oh, somebody adjusted the camera. Now, Benedict. No, no, no. You get back in your tree. Now you got a companion. You got a wee one. You can pass on lessons to. Right. I just want to have my nap. I just want to have my nap. I want to have my nap. I don't want to go back to the deck. Hi. Hi, chat. Yes, it's hit. It's hit. I'm hit. And that's Uncle Benedict. He's going to teach me how to be a, a gamer cat. <laughs> I do not know what has high ground. I do not understand. I think I'm going to take a nap on high ground. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, hope everybody was able to get a chance to, you know, hydrate a bit, get some, uh, you know, get something to eat. I did. I, I'm feeling <laughs> already. Yeah, my body was like, oh, my goodness. Too sleepy to begin the training. <laughs> exactly, Lemon. Exactly. Oh, the crochet. Hey, no, no, no. Are you kidding? I, I Look, this is my dream, okay? My dream is not to have a lot of people in chat. My dream is to have a lot of people in chat and everybody just gets along, you know? And everybody is sharing ideas and chilling and having a good time. That's what I want. That is what I want. And, and so if you all... If you all uh, jack the stream while I'm away, that's fine. That is fine. I could not be happier about that. But uh, but I hope everybody's having a good afternoon. I hope everybody's having a uh, having a chill uh, a chill chill kind of kind of uh, Saturday because that's again something else I'm I'm looking for on my sci-fi Saturdays. You know that it's chill, it's fun. We all relax. We all have a good time, man. Uh, yeah, and for all of you who are coming in again, all of you from um, the 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 Doug Doug incident, which <laughs> um, I don't think I still re quite re uh, I've still quite recovered over. Uh, yeah, I I I just I, I just appreciate having people in chat. I appreciate uh, the new faces. I'm 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 so thrilled that you all have not only um, come on by and found me. Thank you, uh, thank you, Brendan, for the um, for the hydrate. But um, thank you for just coming in and hanging out and deciding, yeah, you know, I got introduced to this streamer. I want to see more. That's that's what I'm looking for. We are inevitable. Oh, or better yet, look at this. Julie's using that using that prime sub. How about that? Is that is that is that right? Joe, did I pronounce that right? Julie's. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. Thank you. Hello there. Oh, no. Jolios. Jolios. Oh, Jolios. Close enough. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jolios, for that uh, for that prime sub. You can choose that, use that prime sub anywhere, and you chose to use it here, and I appreciate that. Okay, Benedict's back up here, but Hicks is, Hicks is uh, ensconced in the tree, and now Benedict is going to use his bony little butt to move the camera so you can't look at look at the tree. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, uh, that's um, that's that's the dream. That's the dream, everybody. You know, and um, <clears throat> and I I do hope I can get in touch with. Uh, I'm going to reach out to um, uh, to um, to Doug Doug's reps and say, hey, look, would would this gentleman be interested in in going on a paranormal investigation because i'd love to take him somewhere <laughs> and just to, just to see we're gonna have to run that by him you know <laughs> i 
And the best part is because he's read the book, he knows that's what I do. So it's not like it can be it can be a complete complete shock. Yeah, I know that was. If you take a look at some of the clips that people made, that was one of the big clips from the from the evening. Is people were just like, oh yeah, let's take him on a hunt. Let's take him on a hunt. Um. But one step at a time. I'm just I'm just, I just really do appreciate the fact that when he was looking at the book, he wasn't being a jerk about it. He was really looking at the book from a streamer's point of view. And, and the fact he was using it to take the piss out, piss out of himself, that's <clears throat> that was an unexpected cherry on top. But when he said, hey, look, there's, there's good advice in here for people who know nothing about streaming. That's what the book's intent was, you know? Um, and hey, Mika. Is a threat for tea, it's a promise. <laughs> Um, why is the stream not at 8 p.m.? <laughs> because it's not Tuesday. Hi, hi. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, share the snacks with the room tea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Danced. Um, but hi, welcome on in. And, and as far as, yeah, uh, first time chatter, um, but Chingo. But Chingo, yeah, um, yeah, it's uh, the, the fact that you all seem to latch on the whole Titan Taco Tuesday thing. <laughs> and at one time, I really was doing Titan Taco Tuesday. I would actually sometimes, if I was running late, I would bring the taco that we would have for dinner that night because we did have we did have Taco Tuesdays here. Um, I felt a little self-conscious, though, about doing Taco Tuesdays after I saw uh, the menu. And I don't know if any of you saw them. have seen the menu. But uh, the it's uh, Ray Fines plays a gourmet chef, right? And and um, and at one time he was talking about his mother, and he's going ah, Taco Tuesday, Hello there. and he said it in such a condescending voice. You're just like you could tell it was like the bane of his existence. Yeah, dance that that movie is fantastic, especially if you are even a slightly foodie a slight foodie or a foodie fan or whatever the fact that they edited and presented it like one of the chef's tables episodes i thought it was brilliant that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> thank you hi um i love titan taco tuesday i appreciate that I, I had a lot of fans of titan taco tuesday and most of the times if i did a, if i did a titan taco tuesday and i and i presented it to to the to the stream usually the 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 um <clears throat> the recipe did come from Treo's tacos. And I can tell you this, I can tell you this. If you if you like um Tex Mex or Mexican food or any of that, I, I highly Hello recommend there. it. I highly recommend it. Um Kappa, thank you for that. Hello there. Um and posture check, thank you very much for that as well. Uh, <clears throat> but um if you if you ever want to try like a really good carnitas recipe, and uh oh one of my favorites that he did. We we he basically did a fusion Mexican Indian dish. He did chicken tiki masala street tacos. Oh my god! Basically, you make the chicken tiki masala, right? You 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 make you make the the <clears throat> the chicken tiki masala, and then uh, you make the lime. You you make his lime crema. You top that on there. And then you throw in for, for like some crunch. You can throw in like like red cabbage and oh my lord. Those those were some favorites. My wife's favorites is the uh, garlic diablo shrimp, and and that that is another recipe of his garlic diablo shrimp. Top notch, everybody. Top notch. Um, Maka, still here from the Doug Raid. I appreciate that. I will attend all your lives if I can. At least stay here for a few minutes. I, well, then, I appreciate that. Hang on in. I should play... I should play the finals. It, you know, I saw the finals. I'm not I'm not a... <laughs> ironically, I was going to say, I'm going to go into Iron Banner, but I'm not really a PvP guy. Uh, I'm more about story and more about the... the, um, <clears throat> the story and the journey... That one takes through a story like Dead Space or Dead Space Two, but I pre I appreciate the the solution uh, the suggestion. Hi, one of the things that I'm actually 
thinking about picking up is uh, Jedi. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Is Jedi Survivor. Now that Destiny has pushed back the final shape to June instead of February, <clears throat> I needed a sci-fi game to play. And you know what? Jedi Survivor looks like it's right up my alley because I played Fallen Order this summer and absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, oh, Ghost of Tsushima. Ooh, now I I feel that I'm feeling a pull to go back to Ghost of Tsushima. I loved Ghost of Tsushima. Um. Yeah, I'm up for IB, Sam. Do you wanna you wanna you wanna run together? I'm 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 open for that. I'd love that. I'd love. I'd I'd love to do that. <clears throat> All right, hang on. Um let me pull up let, let me pull up the Discord and uh get you in for comms. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, everybody. Mm. <laughs> oh so, so marv everybody in my discord on a private channel marv is showing off his meat to me i swear i swear that's what that marv is doing he is showing off his meat to me you better settle down over there i'm gonna come talk to you yeah but i i get it i, I see what you're doing there marv i see what you're doing there <clears throat> Marv just got a smoker, everybody. So I'm excited for him. I'm excited for him. Okay. Ooh, pardon me. <clears throat> All right. Kiddo, I'm in game comms if you want to join me. And, uh, oh, so many new people. So many new people in, the, in here. <laughs> I got to get caught up. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I do find it funny that one of my that that one of uh, one of my mods from Discord is one of the mods from the up oh, there they are. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. <laughs> I never never see I never ceases to kill me. Um, <clears throat> yes. Hi. That happened. yesterday. <laughs> that happened yesterday. Um, and it was, a, it was a lot of fun. I, um, and I had a great, I had a great time. Not only, uh, not only getting raided, raiding back with, I guess, a reverse Uno and then him reverse Uno, reverse Unoing my reverse Uno. And then I raided him back. Um, yeah. Yeah. We had some, we had some fun yesterday. Uh, so anyway. I don't know. wonder if we're getting our asses kicked. There's only four people in my, ah! what happened? Two people left. So the lamb is done. Brisket. So the okay. So I'm sorry. What was that, Bear? I'm sorry. I'm saying that uh, we're getting our butts handed to us because there's um uh now there's five people, but there's four people. Okay. Do I need to uh, pop on to? <clears throat> do I need to uh, join on you? Is that what you want me to do, or what would you like me Up to do? To you. Um, <clears throat> I can join you soon. Uh, you can get ready, like grab bounties and shit. But I already got bounties. Um, I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm currently in a match. So. All right. Okay. Yeah, well, then, we're probably uh, gonna get mercy soon, though. Okay. Just let me know. <clears throat> let me know what you would like to do. Uh. So anyway, yeah. The um. Uh. So Marv, you were saying that brisket takes ages. All right. So here, here, here's the truth of it. Um. The equivalent of a pound. In, in metrics, uh, it's basically one hour per pound. So if you've got a three pound brisket, if you've got a three pound, jeez, if you've got a three pound brisket, that's going to take roughly three hours. So that's the formula you should probably you should probably follow. Another thing you should uh, keep in mind too is that if you think brisket takes long, wait until you try ribs, because ribs, uh, for ribs you do a three two one method, and the three two one method. <clears throat> yeah, probably. Um, because you do want the brisket to be pink on the inside, and um, uh, <laughs> a pound is like a kilogram. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Punchworthy, I thought that that was right. It's been there since 1 p.m., and it is now what time over there? <laughs> well, it, oh, 
You're dangerously, you're dangerously uh, uh, coming towards uh, creating uh, beef jerky. So be careful. Okay, no problem. No problem. Hi, it was a pleasure having you in here. Thank you. I'll see you again. But yeah, the um, um, yeah, if, if half a kilogram is a pound, I would say like per kilogram. So then per kilogram, you're looking at uh, if you've got a three pound brisket, that would make it a one and a half kilogram brisket. That should be done after about, I want to say uh, three, yeah, three hours. <clears throat> um, ah. It's a simple formula when it's not. You know what I mean? Oh, it's eight p.m. now. Yeah, you might have some. You might have some beef jerky in there. Um, <clears throat> so I take a look at it. it all, oh, it also depends on the, uh, the the temperature you're at. Um, my friend and I are probably gonna go to Southside soon. By the way, do what? Um, we're we're gonna go get Southside uh, soon. Okay. Or whenever, whenever they said whenever they get play of the game because they're playing Overwatch right now. Oh, okay. So play do you game. want me, do you want me to wait until you come back from? <clears throat> do you want me to wait until you come back from? <clears throat> um, uh, from Southside or? Sure. Um. So um so that's that's one thing. But the other thing about the uh, the brisket or sorry about ribs, ribs is a three two one method and it has nothing to do with poundage. But this is what you do. You basically smoke the ribs uh, with just the rub for three hours. And then you wrap it in foil and you pour like something you want to uh, ma let it marinate in for two hours. Uh, sometimes I'll get cider. And oh yeah, 225 is fine. 225 is fine. But um, uh, you, you, want, you want to take a look at your brisket now, see how it is. Because brisket should not... <laughs> Yeah, the only reason that you would need seven hours for a brisket is if it's a seven-pound brisket. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good luck, Marv. And, and you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, one time I made salmon for my uh, for my mom and dad with a the, with the smoker, and I left it in way too long. Uh, it's way too long. Um So when you say the internal is really low, do you mean like the internal ah. the internal temperature of the of the uh, of the of the brisket? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, but how that work of the meat? Yeah, so so that's that's the thing about the slow cooker. That's the thing about slow cooking about it of any kind. <laughs> is that it is going to be kind of it's going to be kind of. Do you need to mute yourself on? I was laughing because I um I killed someone in their in mid tea crash. Got it. So um yeah the in, the the inside of the meat may be a little cooler, okay, um but don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Because really good brisket should have should have some uh, should have a line of pink on the inside of it. Um with ribs, as I was saying earlier, you do three hours rub only. Two hours, you create like a like an aluminium foil boat that you can that you can put a cover over, so it's completely encased. And then you can either put a beer in there. You can put. Uh, I'm like one time I did a porter with the with the ribs. Another time I did a cider. A real popular one is you take cherry coke, and you 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 let you let the ribs marinate and it makes the ribs very sweet. And then the last hour, the last hour, you put the barbecue sauce all over it. And then you put it back in, um, and then that's it. Last hour, pull it out, you eat it. So that's three, two, one. That that should be that should be the longest you smoke anything. Um, <laughs> you are twelve, Resident Moon. You are at, you are twelve, Nix. You are twelve. Okay. <clears throat> so if Sam is is gonna um, my my match just ended. Okay. So are you gonna stick around in in uh, yeah. Banner? Okay. <clears throat> Let me see if you pop up here. That's clan. That's friends. No, you're your you're showing is offline, so you might need to invite me. I got, no, I got you. I don't you got me. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Let's see. Crusable. Aaron Benner. Here we go. Uh, oh, Fortress. What is this? 
Fortress or oh, oh so we have a um, we have a choice of either fortress or control. No, for fortress is um that's the one that we have to do. That's um that's Iron Banner. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so what what am I what am I uh, remind me what am I supposed to be doing in fortress? Oh, it's it's just normal Iron Banner except we have the drop pod stuff. The drop. The dro yeah, the drop pods where um <clears throat> it it happens after like a certain point threshold. But basically what happens is that the zones go away and there's a high value zone okay. that where they, they drop cabal turrets and then we kill the <clears> turrets <throat> and then we just capture the zone and defend it. All right. Okay. We'll do that. Yeah, I saw your I, I saw Mika your uh, your stew recipe. That looked really um intense. It looked really good. It reminds me of the the beef stew. There's a there's a beef stew recipe in the Destiny cookbook that, that Sam is crazy for. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's, that, that's, it's really good. It's really good. <clears throat> Feeling a little Flemish, pardon everyone. Don't you, don't you love that? Oh my goth! Don't you love that when when kittens and cats do that sort of thing? They just kind of they just kind of go. Boop. There we go. I was thinking of you. <laughs> the thing, the funny thing is that um, the, the toy that the kittens cannot get enough of, that the that the kittens cannot get enough of, are springs. These little these little springs, and um, <clears throat> apparently Calcifer uh, over at the Rossi house still thinks he has to share it. Uh, at least for a while he did because when he would get his spring he would carry it around everywhere and he'd put it he'd take it back to his bed but um that is so silly i know well no what's silly is dorito dorito got the spring oh, this morning spooky. he got uh -huh. the spring this morning he's walking with it i think it, it might have been hudson uh it might have been hudson hudson tried to grab it out of his mouth <gasps> oh and, no and dorito did this f you you know, he just he just did the little head bob like he was Keanu Reeves in the Matrix and just kind of dodged him. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Calcifer didn't do that. Calcifer didn't do that. But that's cool. That's very Pumpkin. Very oh, silly. my God. What a cute name for, for a kitten. Pumpkin is a collector. If she can pick it up in her mouth and carry it around, um, it's hers. <laughs> One of our cats steals fuzzy socks. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. These. Um, these, it, it's funny too. Um, we kind of get an idea of how young Evie is because we've actually caught many times Evie playing with, uh, her own kittens and she plays rough. She plays rough for, for, so we, we, we think, we think Evie is about a year old. Um, I thought, I, I remember watching her, like, I don't know who it was, but she basically like had one of them at like a headlock and she was like kicking the, the yeah, crap out of, yeah. out of her head. It was so funny. Oh yeah, the um um <clears throat> Oh shoot, do I have the right weapons for this? Um I do now. <laughs> Actually no. Now I do. Show no. strength. Okay, now I do. Uh but I probably don't have the right uh Oh well. Captured zone C. Squad goals. Oh, that's right. PV, it's PvP. That's right. Coming in behind us. Ah! Got him. I did. I didn't know we were fighting against Steve. Opponent we're not. I'm just. Be. Someone had Tikus, and oh, I know okay. Steve really likes. Tikus. Oh my God! Steve's all about the Tikus. Oh. Wait, where is he? Oh, jeez. Push me. Oh, man. I, I don't know what happened there, but Capture we got it. <laughs> ah, no. Woof. Oh, no, they're getting sweet. Zone C lost. Whoa. 
opponent claims zone C. What? Go. Okay. Yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna take the scenic route to C. Oh, for feet. Okay. Let's try this. Ah. Uh. Son of a biscuit! He's dodging my grenades. Neat trick. He came right behind me. That's that's always that's always zero fun. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, where are we going? B or A? Which one do you think? Uh I don't Oh. Hmm. I mean I'm 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 on A. Ooh, alright. Jesus Christ! This person is holy shit. Dang it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <clears throat> this person running Teak is very good with it. Well, there you go. Okay. All right. Okay, so we take out the turrets? Yes. And then we capture the zone. Okay, turrets out. Now take it as your own. Let your enemies hold this advantage. Take the fortress from them. Defend the fortress like the legionaries of Tora Bottle. And now it should give up. No, we're going to take it. Damn it. Damn it. Take the fortress from them. Roll. Oh, and they put me all the way back here. Oh, okay. Don't let your enemy hold this advantage. The hell are these guys? Oh, come on. Fortress crumbles. Push out into the field and fight for zone. I hate the fact I hate the fact that they're putting me all the way back here. Zone B captured. Leave no one stirred. Brother? What the hell? Oh, come on. Alright, they just got heavy off of me. Zone C captured. Two zones. No, I had to reload. Crap. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Zone B lost. No, he's one. Got him. Oh. <laughs> nice. Points until zones disappear. Opponent zone C. Opponent claims zone B. Zone Oop, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I hear him. That's an Angie gun. That's super Angie gun. <clears throat> super Angie gun. Oh, the 
This guy Kit Cadillac is not. I, I keep getting kills, and he's on the top of his roster. So, I don't know what what to make of that. <laughs> Wait. All right. Why are there like three of them over here? Have the Empress's attention. Now it's time to earn her applause. All right. Drop pod. Deploying Scorpius turrets. <sighs> Guardians advance. Hmm. Leave the fortress. Defend the fortress like the legionary. No! I thought I killed him. Your enemies oh. have claimed the fortress. Take it from them. Someone put a what? bubble on the... Three minutes. They're matching your oh, own. shotgun. That's what it was. Up. Oh, yeah. They. Ah. Uh, are you kidding me? They put a bubble on the, on the thing. That's that's disappointing. Ah, uh, crap. No, I almost, <clears throat> oh, I almost, I almost saved you there. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Thing was, I was fully loaded on, uh, on, on some, uh, on, on special. So someone got, a, got a sweet special break off of me. There's one behind you. It was Kit Cadillac. It was Kit Cadillac. <laughs> I've been, I have been, I've been racking up kills against Kit Cadillac all game long. It's been, it's been pretty, uh, pretty wild. I don't think the, I'm not sure. Oh. <clears throat> What's that? I'm, hold on. Don't worry. Take your time. Yeah, you fought. No, come here. Oh, okay. I just killed somebody with 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 the with the name Cat Daddy. That's bad. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Um, it's wrapped and resting. It felt tender to touch and bendable, so it looks good. The rub does. Oh, whoops, wait a minute. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. There, I see you. I see you. Oh, that's right. I need to. I need to put on my my banner gear. That's what I was forgetting. What did I do? Eh, eh. Nine. Hey, you got more than me. Nah. Um. Okay. Let me just see real quick. Oh, I have a banner. I have a banner mix. Wait, that's my that's my banner loadout? Really? No. No. I'm gonna do this instead. <clears throat> okay. Oh, now, come on. I thought I had some. You can put on the ornaments. It doesn't have to be specifically for the um, okay. the armor. Oh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> now you tell me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Well, I saw you swat, uh, swapping the helmet. I was like, what? No, I know. you can well, just... Well, yeah. I, I, thought, I, I thought that was what I had to do. Okay. No, the, oh. ornaments, the ornaments count as a um, as an armor piece. So if you just put the ornament, if you just put the ornament on. Okay, then... so let me find the ornament. Um, which one's the ornament? You, you go to your um, go down the pay, go down. I'm I'm down. There's armor cosmetics. Oh, okay. It's under um, it's under armor I, cosmetics, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should it should just be like a iron banner one. It should have the um. 
so let me let me see what they're called. So I anything that says iron, you're probably good. Yeah. Like iron. It's not on here. Yeah, you probably don't. You might not have it unlocked then. <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah, apparently I don't have the ornaments. Use the transmat material. All right. Um, yeah, the, we'll, so we'll, the... You know what? Talk talk me through it after we're done with this map for this round, because. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Genji. Good to have you in stream. I have never understood the the weirdness of transmog. I've never understood it. I've I've tried to. I. Mm. Ooh, I should swap weapons. Opponent claims zone C. Fun. Oh my god. Wow. Zone B captured. What was zone how was that guy moving? Zone, that looked weird as hell. Lost. I've never seen anybody oh, stutter in midair. <clears throat> Probably ping issues. Alright. Now what's this neutralizing thing? That's the uh, so if someone else has claimed a zone, it's basically like a buffer before we can claim the zone. Oh interesting. Okay. Zone B lost. Bye. Oh, that was Cat Daddy. Oh dear, that was Cat Daddy. Oh, damn it. Opponent claimed zone B. Jesus. Zone B captured. Mm. Two zones are yours. All right. <clears throat> Behind us. Oh, damn it. Uh -huh. Fudge. Zone B go. Long. Damn it. Oh. Woo. Hard done and moi. I got so I I got so I I I was so tightly wound that I tooted. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, who, who's hitting me? Who? What? Oh, me a multi. Okay, man. All right. Hmm. Zone C lost. You captured zone A. Opponent claims zone C. Okay. Are you okay? You've lost There's the two of them there. What? Where? Well, I'm dead, so I. <laughs> Kaido's seen enough. It's time to up the challenge. Did I get okay no too many? Uh, drop pod incoming. No worries. I trust you. That is why I've got mods in here, second hand. Mods like you. If uh if I if I if I you Your know. Have claimed the fortress. Okay. Take it from them. Okay. Why are, why are we running away from the 
So I take it, does it, does, seconds. when it, when the fortress is dropped, right? What? I'm assuming what, Sam, please be patient. I'm trying to figure this out. When the portrait, when the fortress is dropped, I'm assuming that, that the longer the enemy has it, the more points they got. No, it's whoever captures it in the end. Keep pushing. I mean, it's it's basically control, but with extra steps. Got it. Okay. Opponent claims zone C. Okay. Zone A captured. Five minutes remaining. I walked right into a Nova. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> okay. Opponent claims zone B. I just hate this map with the passion. This map is ass. Kaido's seen enough. It's time to up the challenge. Mm -hmm. Deploying Scorpius turrets. Guardians advance. Claim the fortress. I'm reminded of why how much I hate uh, PvP right now. <laughs> Take the fortress from them. But I want the iron ban I want the iron banner emblem, that's the thing. Yep. Defend the yep. fortress like the legionaries of Tora Bottle. Your enemies stand between you and victory. Take the fortress. Oh. I saw the score, and I was dead. The fortress crumbles. Push out into the field and fight for zones. You captured zone C. All right. Zone B. Man, I can't even run for cover fast enough. I can't even run for cover Three fast enough. Left. Oh, but panic's lurking? Okay, good, good. And and Spence is lurking. All right, so we're covered. I'm not worried at all. Hey, capture. You have the advantage. Press on. Zone C lost. Claims zone C. He's low, please. No. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god, teammates, please. I'm literally doing a... Literally doing a 2v2, and my teammate does nothing. And Jason is here. Okay. So we got this. Everything's covered. Just want to get a spike kill. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that but spike kill. Okay. Stop humanity. Can so, we go back to the tower? Yeah, we can go back to the tower, and you can explain to me transmog and all the things that apparently I'm I'm effing up on. Ah, uh, okay. So, this guy's really well dressed, so it's great. And then this guy, and just this guy. Oh God. Oof. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I was getting my ass handed to me that game. I'm just trying to figure out why. Doesn't make any sense, but okay. Okay, so we, no. All right, so we're going to we're going to the tower. Um, are we going towards uh, well? Uh, the the main one, whatever it's okay. called. Okay. Where, where where do you want to go? Uh, where where are you headed? In, in the tower. Okay. Mm.
And you come back victorious, Vi. You come back victorious from the Gauntlet of Dishes. Well done. Oh. Okay. The weird thing is that I thought, I thought for my, um, for my banner mix, I had something a little more banner, but apparently, apparently I do not. Okay. And hey, how you doing there, Adam? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Check, check, check. Pinnacle for rewards. And seasonal bonuses. I probably deleted your IB. Ah, that's it. That's probably it. That's probably it. And that's fine. If all I need is the, if all I need is the, um, is the, Good luck. is the transmog, I'll be fine. Let's see what we. Let me know when you're ready, all I can help explain it. Okay, I am ready. Okay, so go to your inventory. Okay, I'm gonna go to my inventory, yes. Ugh. Oh, while I'm here, might as well. Okay. So I'm in my inventory, what am I looking for? Go down. Okay. Do you bear? To appearance customization? Yes. All right. And now? I'm just waiting for you to. I'm there. This, this room. Yeah. So appearance, appearance customization, and then okay. So you can do either your helmet, your boots, your whatever the 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 main thing is called, the your cloak, or your bond. Right. Okay. So, go to your helmet first. All right. And? Look for the ornament. It's probably going to be locked for you, so look for a iron banner ornament. I must admit, Guardian. It's going to say iron on it. I know. Got me to crack open. All right, so I oh I oh I see I see okay, so there's Iron Forerunner, um, so I can just unlock you... that. I got two of the same roll back to back with my damn Riptide. I still don't have a chill clip Riptide, but okay, yeah. So when you get so you're on the Iron Forerunner hood, so hold down the square button. On the Iron Forerunner hood, or. Yeah, so because that will unlock it, and then what you do is that you would just equip you just equip the armor, the the um Speak to the, the darkness, yeah the ornament, I want no part. and then you do the same thing for the cloak and the boots and the bond, and what that does is that basically it just it consumes a um, a synth weave it looked like yeah a synth weave iron form on investments okay. this for a minute that's the part that drives me nuts is when they don't keep them in the same places it's like you gotta go searching for the for the for these yeah it's the so the reason why if you go into the individual and you don't have the locked ones is because the um if you go through your armor it's and not through the transmog. It's because the armor, the armor one, only shows what you have on have unlocked. Right. 
but the transmog shows all of the ornaments that okay. you can get. No. All right. Well, hmm. Traveler is not what you thought it was. They didn't call the boots something different, did they? Uh, iron Forerunner. So what do they call the leg armor? Because I can't find I can't find iron. Um, iron will steps. Iron true age legs. Yeah, the true age. Um, the the true age. Bungee lazy. Yeah. Yeah, the, the true age is also a um, uh, iron banner because I'm wearing. Uh, I think I'm wearing all true age. Well, anything yeah, any, anything that age. says iron. Uh, it says yeah. iron and it's iron banner. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take it. Remain vigilant, Guardian. We may never quite be as safe as okay. we think. My uh, by Fred, uh, by Fred and I are gonna uh, go get food. Just letting you know. Oh, is that, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna play more, but um, Fred is hungry. I'm a little hungry. Well, so. yeah, yeah. Do the one you well, right? Then go get something to eat, and then when yeah. you get back, we'll uh. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up from here. Yes. It it Can keeps me warm at night, in? okay? It keep the you know the fire the fire keep me warm at night, okay? Alright. No horror boards, drifters of all our shacks. Wait, do I have a it might be heartburn, okay. Alright. Alright, so when you when you get back, we will we will continue. We will continue okay. when you get back. I'm gonna grab some crucible bounties uh, for later. Okay. But, yeah. All right. I'll um I'll I'll you know uh, I'll play some Gambito while you're away. Uh, we're getting ready to do some uh some some gambit here. Getting ready to do some gambit here. All right. Well, I will be. Um, around. Okay. Just tell me when you're available, okay? Yep. Eat well. <laughs> hey there. Whoa. Oh, that's that's the sign off. Gambit. Gambit. I've never understood it either. And yes, Sass, we are playing Gambit. Or yes, Sass, we are playing Destiny. I think one of the biggest problems that people have had, from what I understand, from what I've been told. It's a um, it's it's how they do matchmaking. Um, some people don't like the matchmaking of Gambit, and I think that might be what, what gets people hung up in it. So, personally, I enjoy Gambit. I do. All right. Um, well, actually, let me let me look at the. I enjoy Gambit immensely. I do. I do, especially when you when you have a uh, when when you're when you're in on a full fire team uh, with with people, you know, and you're you're on comms, it's 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 fun. So is this. So is the good boy protocol. I love being the good boy protocol. All right, so let's play gambit. I think I'm also partial to gambit because uh, there's a oh look at that, Jason dropping dropping some uh, some biddies there. Found a can of dehydrated water, but you don't know what to add. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Here we go. Oh, powerful gear. I'll take that as well. Careful with that. And welcome, Mac eighty. Welcome aboard. Good to have you in the. Good to have you in the monster mash. All right. You looking for a gun? If I seem like I'm a little, I'm I'm moving a little slower and a little stiffer. It's because I had a got in my workout this morning and it was a good workout, mm. but I'm feeling it now. <laughs> and thank you everybody for being here. Uh, as you all know, um, the follows uh, they help me out in ways you wouldn't imagine. And as far as uh, follows and subs, subs, of course, help support the artist. And 
I appreciate everybody with their follows and subs of late. It really has made a difference, and it's given me a little, 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 little pop in my step. We have 15 subs to go. 15 subs to go, and I will have reached my brand new goal, which was set uh, set this morning of 150 subs. And we are 221 subs, uh, sorry, 221 followers away from 6,000 subs. From 6,000 subs. You already doubled my number last night. So uh, so thanks, everybody. But yeah, everything that you do to support the stream, especially just coming in, hanging out, talking, and telling people about uh, the Team Monster on Twitch makes a difference. And I really do. And I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, everybody. It's been a, been a crazy fun 36 hours, I got to admit. Crazy fun 36 hours. The feeling you have. Now, see, here's the thing. Um, it's pretty weird that I'm seeing myself with uh, with um, Max Glimmer because uh, past couple of seasons I've been see I've been doing the season of the bag, the broke ass guardian, and I'm I'm stunned that I I now have Max you know Max Glimmer. I should be rocking this, I think. Oh, I should take a look at my Ooh. bounty, shouldn't I? Uh -huh. Scorn approaching. Okay, super auto submachine gun. Okay. You think we'd have run out of scorn by now? How are they breeding? Get ready for. Let's hunt some hostile sister. Bring their moats to the bank. And uh, let the mayhem commence. Oh my god. That guy had a that guardian must have had a bad day because there was a lot of moats lying around. Okay. Pick that up and off we go. This homeboy is stealing all of my moats, I'm noticing. <laughs> Just wanted to be able to max out. I was worried about that for a second there. All right. Watch it. You're shedding moats. Kill the blockers. There we go. There we go. Oh, God, I hate freaking scorn. I hate scorn like you wouldn't believe, chat. Like you would not believe. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Huh? I hope you guys... I, I, I hope you guys needed those. Find, gotta find where he is. Is he there? Invaders gone. Get him next time. 
go. Tempting, but no. Ooh. I just saw that I just saw the high value target go down here. What? What? Are you kidding? This is why I hate the scorn. This is why I hate the scorn. One shot. Really? One shot? Now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. Where did this guy go? Where did this guy go? Yeah. High value targets making a break. No, he's not. Opposing team's got a prime heat. Once it dies, they win. In faith, income. Okay, now I'm just going to get to the bank. It's time for a prime eve. Hostile incoming at the burrow. <laughs> oh, that felt good, chat. That felt real good. Wow. If you're new, you're right. If you're new, and that's the thing, they they want they, so they they want they want new players, and I think that's great and all, but here's the problem with I think getting new players. You're 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 telling players to get involved in a in an arc that's ten years that's ten years long. And I mean that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty major commitment, you know what I mean? Damn it. Still. It gives a bit of an edge. Yeah, and and that's the thing. I mean, now don't get me wrong, I love this game. And I think I you know, I I welcome and would love to help and answer questions the same the same way with new players, the way Marv helps me when when it's you know, when when I'm when I'm doing the thing here. When I'm when I'm doing uh when I'm doing the, the when I'm doing La Destiny. But you know, unfortunately i think i think asking new players to just kind of step in i think it's tough i think it's very tough i feel like i feel like that i feel like they should have they should they shouldn't have made this uh this this particular oh damn they really shouldn't have made this particular uh, story arc so huge so large secondhand gifting 10 10 10 Tier one subs, dear, good, 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 good. Oh my God, I am all tongue tied now. You see this chat? I'm all tongue tied. Second hand, bringing it, bringing it. Oh my God, with five subs to go, and uh, to Victi, uh, to Austin, to uh, Algastobe, to the crazy boat, Zo Zosman Zosmanos, Zosmanos. Uh, Costa to Alamert to Q Smith. <clears throat> I'm breaking my, my voice is breaking to Fummy and to Belladon. Well, welcome to the Monster Mash, everybody. How about that? Oh, yes. Five subs to go. Five subs to go. And then, and then the wizard, the lizard, the wizard coming on in hot with a, uh, a Twitch Prime sub. How about that? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Wow. Four. Four to go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. You all are bringing it tonight. 
What do we get for 150? My 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 undying love. I yeah I I don't. Well, there you go. You know what? Now you have to find out because uh, Jason just dropped a, another five. Another five, everybody. Another five. Here we go. It's your book was right. You'd be surprised at the generosity of people. You know, Tal. <laughs> it never ceases to blow my mind. To Shiro. To <clears throat> to Hey Cutie. I like that one. To Pee Wee Shoop and to uh, Triffling Toad and Yonder the Yeti. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Monster Mash. How about that? Hail to the king. And baby. Jason, thank you, buddy. Thank you. That was very kind of you. I'm surprised you didn't drop the here comes the money because, you know, now we got blurp working. We got blurp working. It It, it is true, though. Um, the um, I I. I I'm always amazed, especially when I do my charity streams. When I do my charity streams, that's when the generosity really comes out. And um, and it's humbling. It's it's super humbling. Uh, so, yeah. I want cake. <laughs> well, then I got to bake a cake. I got to bake cake. Instead, I can give you cat. Right? Right? Aww. There we go. I gave you cat. <laughs> Vex on the field. Oh, I did the, I did the, uh, I did this. I, well, I did that sword challenge. Get ready to drop. Drop those targets. Take the moats and bank them. Delivering on Doug's promises with an actual APM destiny. <laughs> I do find it funny how, how Doug kind of turned that into a thing. Um, I just feel bad because because I'm, I'm no longer doing... T I'm not doing Titan Taco Tuesdays anymore. Um... Although I, I I do find it funny how everybody just seemed really obsessed with the fact that I was doing Titan Taco Tuesdays and it was a thing. So this is what happens. What it's what happens when you miss when you miss certain streamers, you, you especially if they're streamers who who love alliteration, you know. Sure, why not? First of all, run, popping up on the enemy side. Good. Incoming at the gulch. Boom, baby! Wow. All right, coming back to the gulch. It did. It did. It was. It was. It was. And that's another reason why I stopped it, Marv. To be honest with you, because I know you were like, you were like, but why are you doing it? Why are you doing that? I said, because it's Titan Taco Tuesday, baby. And you know. Oh, I got no ammo. Oh, but I do have 15 moats, so I think I better uh, get rid of these moats. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, had I, had I... Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I wanted to order a Titan taco on Tuesday and discover the ingredients. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, if I were to choose one of my one of the um if I were to choose one of the one of the 
of the of the tacos that I make as the Titan taco. Ooh. I think I would say it was the um I would say it's the carnitas. Because the carnitas one, the, the carnitas um the carnitas is a it's a that that recipe is an all day affair. That's an all day affair. Um so I think that would be it. Oh. Okay. He ain't back here. Enemy invader down. Ooh, wow. I don't know if I got the final blow, but you know what? I'll take it. Primeval Sayer at four. Yeah, let's see where he is. Enemy invader down. Never mind. Bam. Alright, here we go. Yes, sir. Come on, ride it out, ride it out, ride it out. Oh, friggin' hell. Come on, there we go, boom. Nice move, Warlock, nice move. Can't eat, oh no! Okay, then you know what? For you, for you, Vi, I think I would then make the current. Why, why can't you make the current? Uh, what is it a pork thing? Left. I could use someone like you what is the, uh, what is, why is, why is the reason that you cannot eat carnitas? If you don't mind my asking. If it's something personal and you don't want to go into it, then that's fine. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Allergic to pork. Okay, then I would say then for you, I would make special Titan Taco Tuesdays for you. I would probably do the um, uh, chicken tikka masala one. Or, or or would you prefer shrimp? Or would you prefer shrimp? I've never heard of a pork allergy before there, uh, too, uh, uh, on the goth. But you know what? Um, I I have heard of I've heard of all kinds of weird allergies, and I I. I don't know how weird my allergy is. My allergy is uh, to balsamic, and I used to love balsamic. Um, I mean, I would, I would, you know, have balsamic vinegar. I'd have that out with some, you know, mix it with some oil, dip some bread in it, and I, you know, that that being like a snack for me. I can't do balsamic anymore. It makes my tongue break out. So, well, that's my allergy. Can't kill me, but it really makes me uncomfortable. Uh, oh, and here comes here comes second hand second hand's dropping in some knowledge. I love this when, when she does this. Pork allergy is adverse immune response after consuming pork and its byproducts, also called pork cat syndrome. Uh, because most pork allergies are related to cat allergies. People develop this pork allergy sensitivity due to allergic response to cat serum alb Wow. 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 That's what Google says. <laughs> See, that's the other cool thing about this channel. Not only do we have tacos, but you know, we also um, we 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 uh we we bring in the, we bring the learning. So it's it's a rule of the it's a rule of Twitch Dad. If you walk away from Twitch Dad's uh uh if you walk away from Twitch Dad's uh stream, you've at least earned one thing of the day. One thing of the day. I'm worried that I'm becoming uh allergic to dairy products because and I love me some ice cream. But afterwards, the ice cream does not love me. <laughs> the ice cream does not love me. 
thanks everybody for helping me achieve this goal 150 subs let's go i guess then i have to reset the clock i have to reset the clock if the vex can time travel maybe they've already won i mean we're down to one last city oh cute Okay. And I'll make you rich, sister. I promise. Hostiles incoming at the base. The one thing that I hope I never get um <laughs> make it make it a sub goal to take Doug to a, to an investigation. Well, the problem is that if I if I if I don't get Doug's consent, it becomes a little sus, you know. I mean, the I think the government might get involved because it that that it then becomes an issue of uh, of, of kidnapping, and I, I don't want to necessarily be arrested for kidnapping. I also want I also want to keep my reputation with uh with with Twitch, you know, on on the you know on on uh you know above board. At the drill. Okay, at Tay Drill. Fair. <laughs> No heavy ammo. Oh, jeez. Did that dude literally just lose like 15? for medium medium blocker to the other <clears> side <throat> this is what the tank can feel revel in this <coughs> guardian down Damn it. Well, that guy got lucky. That guy got lucky that uh, I couldn't seem to finish the job, but okay. You do you, boo. You do you. I took out somebody's. Uh oh. You're bleeding moats, sister. Whack the blocker. Okay, seventy seven. Seventy seven. Take and run popping up on the enemy side. Good. Portal's ready. Go say hello. You're invading. Make a mess. Hey, you're losing most. Ice the block. That's one, that's two, very enough. Ah, there we go. <laughs>
All right, bank boys, bank. All right, Jason. Hey, thanks for this. Thanks for that uh, that drop, and thanks for pushing me over the edge. I appreciate it. I really do. Thanks, man. You have a great day. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay, so quick question. Why is he going to invade when we have all these freaking moats everywhere? Come on, we got... We, can, can we... Can we, can we get the... Oh, I see. Well, great. But it really doesn't help us at this minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. okay, now would be a good time. Okay. Your allies down. They scored a kid. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Great. Just gotta stay ahead. Nobody do any dumb things. There we go. Oh, damn it. Enemy invader down. Read up. You're in the lead. Take down that prime evil and this game. Your invaders back. One kill. Okay. Oh, booyah! Let's go! So I got a tattoo on my forearm a while ago, and I had an eczema breakout while I was healing. Oh, no! Seen shooting like that. So, so tell me, oh my god, does that mean that, that there's no one that can... Re I mean, I know nothing about, about this. Um, does that mean that there's nobody that can repair it? Or is that is that not is that not an option? Well, that's that's awful. I'm so sorry. And the and the um, wow. Hmm. More gears for the sake of gears. <laughs> Y'all seem really nice. I was just asking. Uh, what was that? Hello, really nice. I was just asking for Vi. Was there a different meat they could use outside of pork? You know, you could use... I, I don't see why you couldn't use cow. Like, you could use... I mean, carnitas means little meats, right? That's what it means. It's little meats. So, I would imagine you could use any meat that you want. Um, there's, a there's a recipe in there for uh, brisket barbacoa. Uh, also, in the this is in Treos Tacos as well. The only thing that I don't like about the brisket barbacoa um, recipe is that it, it, it requires the brisket to be shredded. And I really don't like shredded brisket. I prefer my brisket to be sliced. 
I got an infected stick and poke once and it sucks. Ooh. Ouch. Mm. Oh, pardon me. Not too bad. Just has some breaks in the lines. Well, then, you know what? If anybody asks, you just say, I want them to give it a weathered look. And that's how you get around it. <laughs> shredded chicken. Oh, okay. Shredded chicken breast. Now, shredded chicken breast in carnitas would be interesting. Um, ooh, wow. You know, else, you know, this might be really, might be really interesting. Shredded lamb. I don't know if you've ever had lamb before. Um, laundry time. Okay, zipper. Um, I don't know if you ever had uh, shredded lamb before, or just lamb in general. I love lamb. Yeah, preach Cthulhu. I love lamb. I love lamb. Um, and I tell you something. If anybody ever tells you there is no difference between New Zealand lamb and Australian lamb. They don't know what they're talking about. I, I've had both. In fact, I've had, I've had, I've had American lamb, Australian lamb, and New Zealand lamb. There's something about the way those New Zealand lambs live. All right, hold on to something. It's, it's, it's really thrax. It's all about how it's prepared. Um, if it isn't prepared right, it, you know, it's, it's very nondescript. But you throw in the right kind of, ro you throw in some fresh rosemary, you get a nice mint sauce going, and man. Man. And that's some good, that's some good eatings right there. Okay, we go into depot. Um, yeah, baby. But they said depot. Oh, sorry, depot. Depot was behind me. So one of the other reasons why I will I will admit one of the other reasons why I'm insanely loyal to this game of Gambit, um, I was one of the first uh, um, I was one of the first people one of the first test audiences uh, for the game, and I just and I just thought it was the coolest thing. So I like it. I I I enjoy Gambit. Gambit is a Gambit's a lot of fun. I do think sometimes the 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 matchmaking can be a little skewed. But I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. Portals up. Go look them in the eyes. And for those of you that were disappointed that tacos weren't here tonight, I apologize. It's also not 8 p.m., at least where I'm at. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna do something side. foolhardy. Because these guys Brace are trying to... Take out those guardians. Okay. All right, was denied six months. Oh, damn. Unfortunately, he was denied. S I, I was hoping he was going to be carrying a lot. He, was he wasn't even carrying six. He was carrying six. All right. Gimme. Perfect. Damn. <laughs> oh, really? You're going to teabag me, pal? You're going to teabag me. You got 35 and you're teabagging me. Okay. All right, dude. That's another reason I think people aren't crazy aren't crazy about uh, about Gambit. Sometimes the players of Gambit can be toxic as hell. All right. 
see where this guy is. I'm evil slayer at four, not bad. Oh, I think you might have popped this well a little too soon, though. But we'll see. Okay, here we go. See ya. Whoo! Time to check on that brisket. Go check that brisket. Go check that brisket, my friend. And good luck. And good luck. Nice uh. work. They're gonna talk about that fight all the way over in the tangled shore. Soon as a oh, Were we down somebody? Well, how about that? How about that? It must have been we were down somebody and we still won. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that win. I'll take that win. Oh, look at that. Magic Turtle with the follow. Thank you so much, Magic Turtle. Appreciate it. Okay. I think my kiddo has, has gone off um, with their friend, and I'm good with that. As much as I love ga gaming with my kid, I would I would be more than okay if they, you know, did stuff. Did st oh, thank you, Magic Turtle. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We, uh, I, you know, I, I, I try and I try to be gracious when I win. <laughs> it was a good match, though. It was it was definitely a good match. Thank you. Um, so I got pulse, solar ignition. Oh, I got a few more things I can get out of the way, but yeah, let me go. Let me go and uh, empty things out there. S level gamer. No, 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 no. <laughs> Woo, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. On my best days, I may be A level. On my best. On my best. Um, I mean, yeah, if you look behind me, I've got a, I've got a few things. Oh, I, I just realized something. I need to order my dungeon pin. I need to order my... What? Princess Pashley coming in right hot. Coming in red hot. Woo! How you doing there, Pash? What is up? What is up? Gotta give I gotta give my I gotta give my Pash a proper welcome here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There she is, the naughtiest girl on Twitch. Uh -huh, that's why she's here, because it's me, your old pal Twitch dad, Pashley. I want to know what you got up to. I want to hear all the skinny about the naughtiness you got up to on your stream. Oh, sure, it was probably that sultry singing tones that you like to imbibe your stream with, but I know better. I know better. I know that from the waist down, you are naked when you stream, kind of like me, your best pal and your old friend, Twitch dad. Thanks for that raid, darling. There you go. There you go. What does the fox say? Wop, 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 wop. Uh, <laughs> How are you, Pash? How are you, Pash? Could uh, could one of my mods please give a um, 
a a big old a big old shout out to uh, Princess Pashley for me, please. I would appreciate it. Pash, how are you? How are you, my darling? How goes it? Tired as uh, you know. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that so damn hard because, um, yeah, it's been a. It, a as you can imagine, Pashley, it's been a. Um, it's been an amazing 36 That's hours. What she said. <laughs> it's been an amazing 36 hours. And look at that, Princess Pash coming in with uh, with a resub. How about that? Pushing us even further beyond our goal. Even further beyond our goal. Haunted House Sunday. Oh. <laughs> How are you, Liddy? Brian! How are you? Brian! Oh, you heard about you heard about the reaction, huh? Uh, you heard about that, did you? <laughs> I am, I, I am, I, it was so funny too, because the best part of all is that, uh, both Steve Saylor and Thermal Wolf, two, 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 two people, oh, I did tell you, I did tell you, um, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't remember telling you about what was happening here, but I do remember telling you about what happened with the other gentleman, uh, compared to the, the the first reaction to the book, exactly. Now that I told you about, that I did tell you about. But this this whole thing with um, um. This whole thing with Doug Doug, has been an absolute roller coaster, and I've loved it. I freaking loved it. Uh, the the other the other gentleman, which no longer I I don't even I don't even want. Yeah, I remember telling you that story, but I'm I'm not even gonna mention the name anymore. He will just simply be. He will simply be the the toxic streamer that shall not be named, and we'll just leave it at that. Um, Pash, I'm I'm thrilled to have you here tonight. I hope you had a a good stream. Did you get up to some singing, or were you doing some gaming? What were you What were you doing on your stream tonight? And Liddy, always good to see you, my friend. I still want to take you guys somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet, but I still want to take you guys somewhere. We're actually we actually I, I should tell you we are planning a brand new public event uh in october and it's a brand new brand new place never been investigated before never been investigated before oh you're moving you guys are moving to fairfax let's go little singing a little just dance oh my god do you know wh when it was out my jam was uh dance central i freaking love dance central yeah Ar arlington I, I used to live in arlington and even when i was uh even when I was single, footloose, and fancy free, Arlington was pricey. Um, <coughs> I mean, it was great, but it was expensive. So yeah, Fairfax is a is a little more manageable, and I understand you're probably going to want to stay close to the gig and all that stuff. So you know, there's that. But uh, no, no, Fairfax is Fairfax is rocking and rolling. That's awesome. That's awesome. We'll get the space we need. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. <coughs> awesome. That's awesome. I uh, get, get to do some more. Um, okay, so just so you all know, Princess Bashley here, not only is she um, a so-so gamer, she is also an incredibly wicked, talented uh, singer. And Liddy and her, um, they got some voices. They got the pipes. They, they got the pipes, okay? <coughs> and what's even better is um, they will occasionally do duets and my favorite duet, my favorite duet is a little fall of rain from Les Mis Rob and, and they learned that live on stream. And that's what I appreciate. So let me you. tell you something. Let me tell you something. You haven't lived until you hear Pashley and, uh, and Liddy sing a little fall of rain. I'm next time, next time I raid, I'm going to probably request that. That's going to be my thing. So yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, might need to. Now, again, I'm going to say, I know, I know you heard the story. I know you, I know some of you heard the story the other night. Guy's not living rent free in my, in my chat. He's not living anymore rent, uh, rent free in my chat. He's just, he's just not, he's just not. Um, especially after the way. I saw how I saw how how Doug Doug approached the book. The the way Doug Doug approached the book, I'm like, this is kind of what I wanted. You know, for for 
if a if a if a large streamer like Doug Doug got his hands on on it, if he wanted to take the piss out of me, if he wanted to you know you know have a little have a little fun at my expense, that's one thing. But um, but what was done by the other streamer, pretty uncalled for. And what Doug Doug did was super classy, particularly that he was you know he was he was uh, he was taking a piss out of himself and. The fact that I got a chance to come into a stream and say, I'm T. Morris, and I endorse Doug Doug as an A-level streamer. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Good times, baby. Good times. I'm telling you what. Oh, that's for you, Pash. That's for you. Magic Turtle, I, I, I will simply say, I will, I will simply say this. I will simply say this, and then we'll move on. Um, the streamer that shall not be named, uh was sent a copy of Twitch for Dummies, a, a book that I wrote as part of a as part of a joke. Hello there. And, hello there. And what he had done, uh, what what he proceeded to do after that was rip the book in two and then badmouth uh the book and me. And and it, it, it got a little personal, it got a little nasty. Um but okay, yeah, no problem, Pash. You take care. You take care. Liddy She's going to take a shower. Make sure she takes care of herself, okay? Make sure her, her back is all solid, all right? Just just man to man. Just pass that on to you. But um uh yeah, some things were said that were that were not too cool. And he was goaded by a friend of mine into a non-apology. And that was when I saw No, 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 Dick. Hold up. Hold up, Dick. Um Doug Doug was was super cool doug doug was super cool i was in fact i was quite humbled i was quite humbled by how cool uh doug doug was concerning the book um <laughs> but um um but no it was the other streamer not doug doug but another streamer that that did the whole rip into um made some cracks about me made some cracks about about the book itself and 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 Issued a like I said, somebody said to said you know brought brought it to his attention, and <coughs> it was when he issued the non-apology that I said, "Oh, he's that guy, got it." Doug Doug, on the other hand, was it was an absolute. I, I I know I know your stream has this sort of uh, adversarial relationship. I get that, but Doug Doug was super classy about it, and and you know. Honestly, turtle, they, it, it's it, it's for the it's for the lols, it's for the likes, it's for the it's for the subs, it's for the it's for the uh, for the analytics, and that's fine. That's fine, and um and I even got I even got a little ink from Dextro uh, out of it, but it was it was all no one from Dextro ever talked to me. I found out I found out years later that the Dextro actually covered it, um, but. Uh, but what but but the thing that Doug Doug was doing, the fact that he was actually using my and here's even the funnier part, the the tweet that Doug Doug used, um yeah, I didn't even recognize it. I didn't even recognize it until later in the evening when I was like, wait a second. This was the example tweet that I gave, and I thought that was hysterical. And then the fact that everybody was was going off on Titan Taco Tuesday, which I mean Thank you for the hydrate. The fact that the fact that that everybody in chat and Doug Doug were fe were, were fixated on Titan Taco Tuesday, <laughs> and, I, and and it breaks my heart a little bit. I gotta admit, it breaks my heart because at one time when I was doing Titan Taco Tuesday, I actually brought tacos. I did bring tacos. I lost it when you rated you three. I, no, it was twice. He rated me. Then I reverse Uno'd him, and then he reverse Uno'd my reverse Uno. So, yeah, that was hysterical. That was hysterical because I almost raided somebody else. And they were like, well, why don't you raid, why don't you raid back uh, Doug Doug? And I said, well, because he's not on. And he said, no, he's on, he's on Twitch. And I realized his Twitter is Doug Doug Food. Um, this is, and then it was just, it was just Doug Doug. So it played out great. And, and again, I don't mind saying too that, um, oh, and by the way, uh, uh, DN, DN Ye, if I'm pronouncing that right, DN Ye. Um, thank you very much for the um, 
Thank you for the uh, for, for the for the follow. I really appreciate that. Uh, so, <clears throat> so the thing is too, what what Doug Doug probably didn't know was that I'd had a really shit week, um, shit week at the day job, uh, and I was kind of getting introspect. I was getting a little introspective about my streaming because um, I'm I'm actually. <laughs> You all have joined the Monster Mash at a time when I've completely revamped everything I'm doing. And I was telling myself, okay, you know what? <clears throat> um, I'm going to have, I'm going to have low numbers. I'm going to have low numbers. And, 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 you know, when, when you, <clears throat> there's only thing more disheartening, I think, than streaming to an audience of one and streaming to an audience of zero. And um, last night I was not streaming to an audience of one. Hey, Seuss, tick Christ. Uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> and now the stream is blessed. Um, it, it is very disheartening. But everybody starts at a, at a point like that. But it's when you go back to that point that it's a, a, a really bitter pill to swallow. And I was thinking maybe, you know, and I, and I was thinking, you know, I, I, I got it. Oh, hello there. Um <clears throat> Bless you. I bless the house. <laughs> I bless ye. I bless ye. Uh, <laughs> so. And yeah, Doug Doug did come out in uh, Charizard. Thank Hello you for there. the follow. Hello there. Um, you know, I, and I, I don't get me wrong. Even if it's one person watching, I still I still enjoy streaming. I still enjoy the experience of streaming. But I'm looking for growth. I am. I am actively looking for growth. And. And when you know when you're trying new stuff, it's it's a little scary. But then yesterday, everybody everybody came out, literally of the woodwork, and uh, people stuck around for the fr new Fright Night Friday, where we <clears throat> we did Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed, a, a game that not many people have know, know about. And quite honestly, it's a crime they don't know about this because Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed is such a damn fun game. It is so much freaking fun. And hey, Professor. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I, 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 I keep things in perspective. I do keep things in perspective. Um, and you know, uh, and and now I, I, I do. I feel, I feel invigorated. I feel, I feel, you know, supercharged. And I'm really hoping that we can, you know, push that out. Oh my God, I would love. Boo, I would love to play Ghostbusters with you. That would be so much freaking fun. And it would be me, it would be you, it would be Pip, Steve, if we can get him. Um, you know, people that you know. So, so yeah, let you know what? Boo, look at next week. Look at next week if at all possible. <clears throat> yeah, just told my husband that I stream to keep three people moderately happy. I'll be overwhelmed when they all get on at the same time. <laughs> Um, yeah, we we usually get the <clears throat> we usually get things started around seven thirty ish. So, <clears throat> boo, check your schedule. Ping me on ping me on um, on Discord if you got any questions. We'll, we'll we'll sort that out. That'll be that'll be fun. At AF, I would love that so freaking much. And we can do chat on uh, we can do chat on Discord. Um, <clears throat> I hope chat wasn't too obnoxious. I didn't look at the chat too much that stream, but being from the Doug Doug community itself, I know they can be a little. Well, so they can, you know, were they a little jarring? Um, I mean, it's jarring when 6,000 people jump into your stream. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest, okay? It, you know, it, no, it's, it, um, I mean, he, let me go on ahead and just give you, uh, you know, a real look, a real example of what happened, you know, the other night. So we go to here, we go to, uh, we go to ch the channel. Yeah, can can I do this while I'm on? Um, I don't know if it'll let me do it while I'm on. It should it should let me do it? Um, how about ah creator mode? Here it is. Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> um, so this was the stream the previous night. Okay, this was the stream the previous night. I had an average of five viewers, max 
nine viewers. It was a, now, and I will I will preface it by saying it was an it was an evidence review night. So if you are not curious about the paranormal and about how people do evidence review, chances are it's not going to be the stream for you. So you know I admit that. Um, average viewers five, max viewers nine. Then there was yesterday afternoon when um, when everybody came in here, Night Beaver. Okay. Um, average viewers nine hundred and nineteen. Maximum viewers, 6,241. That's, uh, that's a jump. That's a jump. <laughs> um, all right, so you're off. You're going to go watch the show with your mom. Uh, might drop back in if the, if the live is still happening. You bet. Uh, I'm going to probably be wrapping up uh, soon, soonish, probably around 5, because that's when I usually you know start to power down. But uh, thank you very much for that hydrate. I don't know how much of the hydrate we have left, but we'll give it our best shot. Aww. Thank you. Um, and the, the Ghostbusters game was great, Night Beaver. It really was. It was an absolute blast to play. It's an absolute blast to play. It's just fun. It, it's, it's, it really is... Um, it is um, Dead by Daylight in the Ghostbusters universe. You know, just goofy fun. And um, yeah, the 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 and and everybody that came over could not have been nicer. They could not have been nicer. Um, I can't even. Congrats to surviving being larger than my hometown. <laughs> I know, Professor. I know. And it happened twice. It happened twice. <laughs> you know, same guy, but it happened twice. And and yeah, I mean, it it's um. It, oh no, chat can get crazy, but that's the thing. That's why I had to you know go into slow mode with chat. And and just and I obviously I couldn't get to everybody, but I did the best I could. I I you know maneuvered. I pivoted. I streamed. I mean that was the thing. The the first stream that I did, where I was like, "Hi everybody, who the hell are you?" You know that was fun. That was hell of a fun. A bit of a jump. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, and that's and, and but that's the thing is that um, it was one of the coolest things that 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 could have happened at that time because I was in a really I don't want to say vulnerable place but I was I was in a little I was I was in a moment of I was having a moment of uncertainty I knew I was going to push forward because I sat down with somebody we looked at our stream together this is a professional she's been helping other people and I wanted <clears throat> I wanted to know what's the next step for me to grow you know and oh you had jerky oh it was very tough but you know what next time marv next time next time just remember an hour per pound at 225 and you should be good you should be good well that's the thing what really impressed me about doug doug was that he was paying attention to his chat i mean my my chats my, my messages were getting through so i give him i give him a lot oh who, oh my god Look at this. Haunt Hunters coming in. Thank you for giving the shout out to Haunt Hunters. <laughs> this is another paranormal uh, paranormal group that uh, are trying very hard to get me to come out to, to, uh, to the clown motel. <laughs> oh, and I should let you know. I should let you know, Styles. I should let you know. Um, yeah, Phil gave me the go ahead. If he's he's like T. If I can't make it, you can go out and you can support. You can be OSI's representative. I'm like, great. Great. Thanks. Thanks, man. Uh, and, and you know, Dick, I will say this. Doug Doug is a great streamer for being C-level. You know, I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got a lot of, uh, <laughs> got him. Uh, let's see, I think he uses a program where you can see just VIP and mod messages, and you're, and I was a VIP in his chat. See again, that's not something I expect, because of some of the heat that I that I picked up for doing Twitch for Dummies. But again, <clears throat> again, when I wrote Twitch for Dummies, I did not write it for necessarily people at that level that he's at, you know, um, <clears throat> but. If nobody, if if you didn't know a thing about streaming or if you felt like you were stuck in streaming, then, you know, 
maybe Twitch for Dummies could get you across the finish line. Maybe you could get validation being at, 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 um, <clears throat> at his level. But he was honest. He said, this is no help for a streamer like me, but you give really solid advice. That's from from that level of streamer. That's an endorsement that I, I can live with, that I can absolutely live with. Um, and I wasn't kidding too. If I get a second edition, sorry, if I get a third edition of Twitch for Dummies, he's the first person I'm getting in touch with and saying, "Hey, dude, write me a forward." And Steve even suggested, Steve Saylor suggested that I should write the forward with him live on stream. That could be fun. That could be hella fun. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, I know. I know. Um, oh, wow. He just, I've been to the Monterey Aquarium. That is a beautiful facility. That, oh, I didn't realize he did that. Uh, if you find another cat, no. We, okay, I can, I can make this promise, everybody. I will not be bringing back any new cats after going out, okay? I will not be doing that. Uh, this is still going? Well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, a, I feel like I think I'm winding down now because I didn't want to go. I, I, I try to make it a rule that I do not stream after 5 p.m. on Saturdays because I, I do have a wife and I want to make sure that, you know, she remembers that I exist. So there's that. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, <clears throat> right. Exactly. Zipper. Exactly. It's not going to. No. And it's not going to help everyone. And there's also there's also something to be said for luck. And here is something I, I, that I I. I took a little bit of umbrage with um, TwitchCon saying, "Wow, you really you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do this as a uh, um, as a as a as a possible uh, as as a as a I'm trying to think of the, the word for it. It's um, that they, they they actually did it as a as a panel, which was it's not necessarily luck." So here's the thing. Here's my thoughts about luck and, and streaming. Not just Twitch, but streaming in general. There is some luck involved. And you know who I was told by that? This this will this will really bake your noodle. The first person that I ever heard admit, just straight up admit, no, there's a lot of luck involved. You might have heard this guy. I think he knows a thing or two about streaming. <clears throat> and um and he um, he's had some pretty pretty decent success with it. Um, Doctor Limo Limo Lupo 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 Doctor Lupo. He told me that. He told me that. And <clears throat> and you know that's the thing is that you know he said I was gaming I was gaming one night and I threw a grenade at somebody. And it happened to land. It was a it was a luck shot grenade. <clears throat> it won me that round in Fortnite. Next thing I know, I'm 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 on I'm on a chat channel with Ninja. This, these are his words to me. He says, "Next thing I know, uh, you know, I'm 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 do, I'm doing um I'm doing uh you know, I'm doing squads with Ninja, and then we're playing, and then the the numbers get get bigger and bigger. Oh hey, no problem, Professor." Thank you. Thank you for coming in here. You're awesome. That's Professor Up to Daisy, everybody. I do steampunk with him. He's a good guy. Really good guy. Um, <clears throat> Elias will bring another cat back. Uh, Marv, you watch your step now. I, mean, I should probably back up because I'm sure there were some more kittens. I, we don't have the room for it, boo. You need to come up and uh, and, and have a visit with uh, Hicks and Hudson and everybody. Um. <clears throat> You know, I, the 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 thing about the but the thing about um, the thing about streaming is that you can be consistent and you can create good content and you can do all of these things, and still you could be working uphill. You could be working uphill, and it's no different on Twitch than it is on YouTube. That's something I discovered. Now, from what I've been told, the growth that we have been seeing on YouTube as 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 old spirits is actually quite good. It's better than average. And, and we're finding an audience and we're finding a voice and people are starting to recognize us, which is great. <clears throat> With Twitch, it's a little harder. And this is hard work, you know, and, and it is hard work to keep putting up a schedule and to keep, you know, 
And and to have people come in your stream and go, oh man, you know, I, I love sitting in there on your streams. Why don't you do this full time? I don't do this full time because I don't have the numbers to support it. I do now, but here's here's the kicker. I have to keep these numbers now. And then Twitch has to decide, okay, it wasn't just because of the Mondo raid. People really like him. They're tuning in, they're signing up, they're resubbing, yada, yada, yada. I get that. It's a business thing, but there is a lot of luck involved. There's a hell of a lot of luck involved. And I get that. I And you know why I get it? Because I got my degree in theater, man. I, at one time, I was a professional actor. Yes, I actually did get onto network television. I was in an episode, speaking, speaking part, five lines, homicide, life on the street, baby. And, and you know, that was awesome. They treated me like a, they treated me like a rock star, just like all of you, just like all of you. Um, <clears throat> exactly, Marv, exactly. And I don't know if I didn't do that. I didn't know, I, I thought I was doing that. I thought I was doing that when um, when I got raided by Markiplier years ago. Bro, can we see it? Yes, actually, you can. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I thought I was making people feel welcome, but apparently I did. I, I, I Maybe I didn't, uh, I didn't stream consistently enough. I don't know. And... But here's another thing that I would I, I, I would tell anybody about about if they wanted to get into streaming. I would say, don't allow yourself to become a slave to the stream. Like if someone were to say to me, well, T, you've got these numbers now. Now you got to keep it up, not just through January, but through February, through March. And I'll be like, whoa, 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 slow your roll. I'm going to visit my family in New Zealand in March. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream. I have no idea. But you know what? I'm going to New Zealand for two weeks and then I'm going to come back and we'll, we'll start again, you know, and, and that's how it works now. <clears throat> so first off, hold on a second. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see here. If I was, if I was, uh, Because I'm pretty sure I did save it. <clears throat> there it is. Boom. Oh my God! It's still on. It's still on Paul Fisher's. It's still on Paul. Fi <laughs> I thought it was on mine, but I guess I'm gonna have to get it from. I have to get a copy of him. Okay, so if you want to see <clears throat> this, this was my, this was my, my my biggest ever moment on television. All 22 seconds of it. All 22 seconds of it. <clears throat> so here we go. Oh, really, Branch? Uh, are you in the you in the north or the South Island? North of North or South Island. My 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 um my wife's a Welly girl, but we may be spending some time in Auckland. But here, here this is this is me in a in a scene from Homicide Life on the Street. Here we go. Nope. And I got a funny story about this one too. Here we go. What time did you find the gravesite, Mr. Stone? Early, around 6.30. There I am. I thought Ginger would wake everyone up in the hotel. Did you see anyone in the uh, woods or in the parking lot? Nah, there was no one else around. You sure? At 6.30 in the morning, you can see everything. Yeah, I remember the couple that checked in the room. And that's it. <laughs> Here we go. I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time in case 35. you missed it. <laughs> Boo, I don't even want to know how old you were when I shot this episode. <laughs> I mean, it's homicide life on the street. Yeah, so we're, we're talking, man. Um, and that, okay. Okay, so there are a couple things. So I'll play the clip again. 
What time did you find the gravesite? <laughs> Working on it. Early, around 6.30. I thought Ginger would wake everyone up in the hotel. Did you see anyone this in the uh, woods? Or anyone want a hug? Lot? Nah, no there's hugs. no one else around. You sure? At 6.30 in the morning, you can see everything. So, a couple, couple things about this scene. Okay, so let's see. First off, this actress, absolutely stunning. Beautiful woman. Oh. Um, let's see. Okay, so a couple things you need to know about this scene in particular. One, yes, this is me on Homicide, Life on the Street, and I was 12. <laughs> um, and this was shot. Let me see. Um, it's my first or my second year playing Rafe. It was my second year playing Rafe. So that puts it at 1990. It's either 19, 1980. Oh my God. Gambit running. Oh my God. Gambit with the raid. Oh, damn. And here's the thing, everybody. I got to play this clip again because Gambit etiquette, she is legit. She is an, she is a full on full on pro actress and now she gets to see is she gets to see my 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 grand moment with homicide life on the street in 1997 1997 everyone that's when it happened 1997 so first off let me go on ahead and uh, give you the proper that proper welcome Good Lord, I don't think I can handle this much sexy, but there she is. There's Gambit Etiquette in the house. Hey, hey, it's me, your old pal, Twitch Dad. I've had one hell of a 36 hours, I can tell you right now, hon. And let me assure you, I'm going to be trying to spread this love as much as I possibly can. Yo, folks, everybody give Gambit Etiquette a follow here because not only is she perky as hell, but she is quite the entertainer. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Coming from me, your old pal, Twitch Dad. Hey now. There you go. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. I uh so Jess is playing right now. She is playing. Oh, she is playing. Hold on, hold on. Let's jump again. Gambit, uh, uh Gambit Etiquette, aka Jess. She was, I was minus one. Yep, that's what I thought, Dick. <laughs> uh Jess is playing through right now um The Legend of Zelda. Uh the recent one. The recent one. Uh Tears of the Kingdom. I believe that's what it's called, Tears of the Kingdom. And uh yeah, that's what that's what she's doing. I hope I hope it was a good stream, Jess. So Jess, I'm going to play this for you, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you. And um okay, so I'm going to play this one more time. This is me 1996, 1997 on the set of Homicide Life on the Street. And uh here we go. One more time for everybody. First time for Jess. Even Jess I've been friends with Jess for like years and she's never seen this, I don't think. What time did you find the gravesite, Mr. Stone? Early, around 6.30. I thought Ginger would wake everyone up in the hotel. Did you see anyone in the uh, woods or in the parking lot? Nah, there was no one else around. You sure? At 6.30 in the morning, you can see everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you uh, a little story about, about all this. About all this. Okay, first off, the dog. This is very sweet. The dog was absolutely delightful. Um, it turned out the dog was a stray that kind of wandered onto the set of Homicide Life on the Street because, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mighty Lion, um, <clears throat> kind of wandered onto the street, uh, off the street and into the, the studio, and the studio just adopted the, the dog. I'm trying to remember the name of the dog, but um, I think it actually was Ginger. I think they did name, name her Ginger. And... Um, and you know and he was he was he was very sweet he was, he was, a, he was a sweet little dog and uh so, so that that was legit ginger's first cameo on homicide uh on homicide life on the street so that's that's the first thing second thing that cast was not a makeup choice or a director choice that actually is a that is a a, a bona fide cast what had happened the week before the uh, the week before they they um actually two weeks two weeks before they cast pardon the pun 
two weeks before they cast the, the episode, I was doing uh, stage combat out at the Maryland Renaissance Festival. Um, and, and this is what I did. It's an authentic, yeah, it's an authentic broken arm. And what had happened was, was I, I, do a, I did a stunt. Now, let, let me talk about the stunt that happens after it, and then let me talk about this stunt. So here we go. Hey, yo, how you doing there, some guy? So, um, so I go running towards this big dude, and he's a solid dude, big solid dude. And we basically catch each other. You know, my arm goes out, his arm goes out. And what I do is his arm comes across his chest, my arm goes across his chest. I kick my feet up and then I collapse. And when I come up, I'm 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 heavily breathing like like I've been clotheslined. And then after that, we're supposed to grab a quarter staff. He spins us around so we're back to back. He flips me over him. I land in front of him, and then he clocks me with the with the quarter staff. Okay. So, um, <laughs> was it his first stream? Was it his first stream? <laughs> and um, now that's what the stunt is supposed to end. But here was what happened. I'm charging at the guy. He's charging. You know, he's standing there. I put my put my hand across his. Uh, I put my arm across his chest. He does the same thing with me. But this particular moment, two weeks prior to this, my arm was probably half an inch extended further across his chest. So I hit his chest and I hit the ground. And this time I really had, I really had trouble. I really had trouble catching my breath. And what had happened was, was that I, and I looked down at my hand and I remember consciously thinking, T, wiggle your fingers. And when, and and I got that much. I did that much. And the pain was indescribable. But there was still more left. And I remember Jim, that was the other guy. Jim is coming towards me to finish the fight. And I threw my hand up in the air and I said, I yield. And we caught all this on video. That's the thing. It's all on videotape. <laughs> Where, uh, thank you, thank you, Silver and Cold. Thank you for that follow. Um, they caught it on tape, and the thing is, you could have heard a pin drop. And then someone says, get him off the field, and everybody starts to boo. It's a, It was a live chess match. And that was when I found out, when I got to the hospital, of course, I found out that my forearm, which normally the bones in the forearm are like this. Yeah, mine were like this. And they had to perform uh, surgery. They had to perform surgery on me. Um... And and I got two metal plates in this arm. I keep hoping one day to do this, and adamantium is going to come out of my knuckles. It hasn't happened yet, so keep trying. Um, so that and and then I had to go back in for a callback, and I walk in with the cast, and and I remember Pat Moran. She was the uh, she was the casting director. Pat Moran said, "What happened to you?" And I said, "Well." What, does it help that it happened on the job? And she said, "I was gonna say if you got that if you got that with with basketball, I was gonna I was gonna say serves you right." And I said, "No, ma'am." <laughs> well, Troublemaker, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. I was banned for a week and two days, so I just watched the VOD. Also amazing. We'll follow the channel, ghosts and stuff. Well, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, Darnikova, uh, thank you again. Thank you for that, and <clears throat> thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. I'm sorry for the uh, for for the, for the shout out. Thank you. Um, so anyway, so, so, so I did the callback and then I got cast literally. And when I showed up on, on, on the, on the set, I was flying high on Percocet. I was, I was, I was a kite, but, uh, but I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. And at one point the actress, I want to say her name is Michelle Jones. Um, at one point I, I, I made a crass, I made a crass remark and, and she went, Oh, come on. And she slapped me in my arm and I kind of flinched and she just went, Oh my God. And I said, we're fine. We're fine. I'm, 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 I don't feel a thing. <laughs> and they were the, they were some really nice people. The, 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 the cast of homicide life on the street. I'll never forget Reed diamond who played Lieutenant Kellerman. I was a fan of the show. I was a fan of the show. Um, Lieutenant Kellerman, he actually came out on his on his on his trailer doorstep, and he just sat and just just talked with us, with with me and, and my then wife uh, Natalie, and he could have been nicer to my wife, could have been nicer to me, 
um, we, it, we we got to talking about the dog because he opened his trailer and Ginger went right in and I said, hey man, what are you doing with my dog? And, and then that's when we started talking. He couldn't be a nicer guy, Reed Diamond. And I think he went back to do stage stuff. Um, talented dude, Reed Diamond. Talented, talented dude. But yeah, this is me on homicide life on the street. And when I'm when I talk about when I talk about um when I when I when I talk about like I, I get it and I talk about streaming and things like that, it's not a far cry from this. It's not a far cry from, you know, staying consistent, getting lucky, getting a break, you know? And 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 that's the thing. I I also I I don't know if we're ever going to get a break as as OSI. Uh, I don't know. But you know what? I am still extremely proud of the stuff that we produce, both on this stream and over at YouTube, of OSI, of what we're doing. Because we're doing, we're actually doing something that nobody else does, which is the five minute paranormals. I have never seen, I have never seen any other ghost channel do a five minute paranormal. Or, or I'm sorry, or anything like the Five Minute Paranormals, where we offer reviews, where we offer, um, we offer um, tips on on how to, how to run an investigation, and we got we got a lot. You know, I did I I actually shot a few with Spence, and we had a great time doing it. And I I know they're gonna be they're gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and 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 I and I appreciate that, Mighty. I really do. I do appreciate that. Oh, I I did want to say real quick before before I before I forget. I do want to say, uh, Haunt Hunters Styles asked out me. When's the next hunt? And we're thinking February. Could happen in February. Uh, we're actually getting ready to book one in October, in a location in this area that has never been investigated before. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, the disappointing part of the paranormal is the number of people faking for clicks. Well, yeah, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing now the Grim Gazette. Now, you see, here's the thing. I was being very cautious about doing something like the Grim Gazette because I... So there's there, there's two things about the paranormal community that I get a little gun shy about. One of them is that, the people that fake crap for clicks. Um, do not get me started on Laney and Ben. Just don't. Just don't. Um, don't get me started on Zach Baggins. Don't get me started on Mind Seed. Oh, those. I'm sorry. If you want to know, so T, what do you think is a bad trait of a paranormal investigator? Is seeing a full body apparition and saying, we got to get out of here. Sorry, paranormal investigation, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gambit. I appreciate that, Jess. Oh, my God. So you dig it. Oh, we're, we, I'm, I'm starting to get more clips. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty excited about it. Um, but the other part of it, and this, this is why I think I've, I've been so nervous about the stuff that we're trying to now bring into the stream. Because uh, Loco over at Streamer Square, when I was asking her to help me evaluate the stream and, and what can I do to, to make it to the next level, she suggested I do a reaction videos. But I've seen other paranormal groups do reaction videos, and I worry about that. Because sometimes those can get toxic. Sometimes those can get toxic. And, and I told her that. I said, it feels like low-hanging fruit of content creation. And and I, I don't like it when I see streamers that I respect and, and, and YouTubers that I respect do the reaction videos and actually some of them kind of kind of use the reaction videos, go, oh, I would never do something like that because I would be too clumsy to do X, Y, Z or whatever. But I've seen some get a, a little nasty towards the people in the video and I'm like, oh no, that's that's gross. I don't want to do that. And And it was actually Loco who said to me, well, T, what about if you did it from an analytical point of view? Do it from an educational point of view, like your five-minute paranormals. You're out to educate people. This is a this is a video. What do we need to look for? What are the what are the things that we need to figure out? You know, and um, and look, I told look if if reaction videos are your jam, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm just saying it's not for me. 
But when she framed it that way, when Loco said, do it in this respect, do, do it from this angle, I said, okay, I think I can try that. And we gave it a shot, and I and now next week we're going to do it again on Tuesday. We'll see what happens. No tacos. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> but um, But I also want to make sure that we are still doing investigations and not... <laughs> not just doing reaction videos, which is why I'm setting aside the Grim Gazette for only on Tuesdays. So look, if you've got a weird news story or if you've got a paranormal clip that you would like me to analyze, you can, you know, you got so many different places you, you can get in touch with us. Uh, but the best place would be is to sign up for the Discord. And when you go to Discord, uh, swing on by. Um, there's a room there called Grim Gazette. Drop the link in and you should be good. You should be good. Um, you know, and and so so yeah, that's but um but speaking of of paranormal investigations, yeah, we've we're trying to get some stuff up and I'm also working on season three. So there's a lot there's a lot of there's a lot of uh moving parts right now. There's a lot of moving parts. Um I, I'm beginning to see why Pip doesn't like me with with with, with facial hair, with, without facial hair. I, I do, I do look like I'm 12. <laughs> uh, so let me let me backtrack a little bit. There was some stuff that I wanted to I wanted to cover here. Uh, Doug Doug is all about storytelling. This is what uh, Branch uh, uh, Branches dude said. Uh, Doug Doug is all about storytelling. I think he'd be down to continue a relationship with you. Let, well, we'll find out. You know, one one email at a time, one day at a time. Secondhand, I'm not bringing back a dog. I'm not bringing back a cat. I'm not bringing back a fish. I have promised myself and I have promised, I have promised um, Pip that we will not be bringing in any more pets. We are, we are full up at the Morris household. Um, say, so yeah. Um, oh, so that's what the sea. Oh, so Dick, Dick was telling me about the sea otter's birthday. Okay. So that's the whole thing about the sea otter. I get it now. I get it now. I see. I see. Okay. Um. I mean, and, and that's the thing, though. That, that's the thing, though, about my about my big break at uh, with uh, with NBC. If you blink, you miss it. But here's the even funnier thing. Here's the funnier thing. <laughs> I still get royalty checks from Homicide Life on the Street. I mean, I was actually getting at one time uh, royalty checks for like three bucks, for like three bucks, and I'm like, it, it costs probably twenty five bucks to process the damn the damn check, you know. And again, that was one of the th and that was one of the things that I will say, I think was a the reason why I actually paid a lot of attention to what was happening with this uh, SAG after. This was a SAG after gig that I did, and. Um, when you hear about producers that want to basically capture an actor's likeness and then use it for whatever purposes, that's no bueno. That is no bueno. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally, I was totally, I was totally for that. Um, I was totally like, like, no, these actors know exactly what they're doing. Same thing with the writers. And, and so, yeah, of course, now if somebody wanted to try to do that with Homicide, You'd have me, but you'd have me without facial hair, so I look like a I look like a <clears throat> like a twelve year old. So there's that. Um. So anyway, we'll we'll have to see we'll have to see how 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 things you know how things progress. I still would love to, even if I if I could not take Doug Doug on a paranormal investigation, I would love for him to write a forward for Twitch for Dummies if a third edition does happen, if a third edition does happen. Okay, so Rosa is the otter, and that's your queen. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, for me, for for me, my my charity, my charity is um, is is you know, nokidhungry.org. Nokidhungry.org is an organization to make sure the kids who are relying on the school systems for their next meal get fed, even if school is out of session. And um, and they 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 do they do absolutely incredible work. Um. Okay, so. Here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. I'm looking at who's on. And let me just see how long Kel has been on. Okay, Kel may be on for a little bit longer. 
Kel is, this is Kelly Kells. She is an absolute delight, lovely person. She is also streaming Destiny. So let's keep the Destiny theme going. And she's a, she's a, she's a, a, she's a Kiwi chick like my wife. So we're showing some, uh, some Kiwi love here. And we are rating Kel of Kells. Okay. And thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you being here. Um, if you've got a gifted sub today, if you've got, if you've got the sub itself. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, if, uh, if, you, if you've got the sub and you know what's going on, you know what to do. Copy and paste this message. Copy and paste this message once we get over to Kel's, uh, Kel's stream. Um, if you don't have tier one emotes, if you don't have a sub to this channel, that's okay. You can make one of your own messages. Just make sure to say it's a tea party with two E's and cheers from the Monster Mash. Everybody, thank you all so much. Welcome on into the show. Welcome on into the fam. Welcome on into the Monster Mash. Um... I hope to see you all on Monday when you get to hear me scream fresh screams as we uh, dive into Dead Space 2. Until then, you all have a great Saturday. Peace. the T monster coming in okay, and now my alerts are playing twice they went from not playing at all to playing twice I love that for me <laughs> wow holy heck T how are you thank you so much for the raid let's get you a shout out while we're matchmaking you want to join me and I am banished Mitty you're more than welcome to I'll back us out of matchmaking um I can't remember if I said already but Big Movinsky thank you for the follow Curity how was your stream what did you get up to Twitch mom thank you for the follow I appreciate you Guys, if you are not already following the Tea Monster, do me a little favor and just hit that heart at the top of chat. Um, T is honestly one of the nicest and chillest dudes you'll ever meet. Um, and his streams are just such a great time. T's wife from Wellington, I recognize the name. We talk about New Zealand a lot. Thrax Gaming and Gamba Etiquette, thank you both for the follows as well. Been a crazy 36 hours, but I got up to some Destiny 2, Casual Iron Banner, but now taking a break. That sounds like a good idea. I'm trying to.